the role players. P got something to say. Check it. Uh huh. Check it. Strength in the hustle, the flames in the duffel. Uh, I'm rich with the muscle, muscle, keep a couple by the buckle. buckle. Hear the engine roar from the sound of the muffler. muffler. Shaking up the spot by the way that it rumbles. From that spark that ignites the fire. Took the road less travel, only climbing higher. I'm the source of the power, I'm the main supplier. I'm built a little different, just the way that I'm wired. And this goes out to the ones who stay solid. Might speak to garlic, but never went to college. Ooh. Don't judge my knowledge, I'm only being honest. Same finish line, just a different process. Yee. Same finish line, just a different process. Hey. I'm trying to get there too, you know. It's a different process. We all trying to get there. Different timeline. You know my boy, he drinking out the dimes. Yo, <laughs> one, drinking two, out the three, dime. and the foe. Hey. Yo. It's the Role Players Podcast. Yes, sir. It's the Role Players Podcast. Uh, and we're back. And, and we're we back. back again. And, and we're we back. back again. And, and we're we back. back again. I got one. Here we go. Yo. I got one. Uh. Yo. Check it, check it, check it. Raised in the city by the ocean. Don't get sick by the motion while we brewing up this potion. Uh. Cooking up these recipes, rhymes for the remedies. Uh. All about the bread like a bakery. Beats help the vision paint the picture. And the voice tell the stories to the scriptures uh. Create some cinematic Plant the seed and watch it grow to be a classic Ripples turn the waves, building off something massive Ooh. And I'm shooting off the hip, I'm automatic Off the top, flying down, call me Randy Savage uh. But I'm usually really laxed You can get taxed like your income Pitching like I'm 10 lits to come I'm trying to feed the fam and win some Go back to work and then some and then some Way over minimum, pay me the maximum I'm the prime Suspect building off my intellect, network like internet, speaking like a vet, a whole lot of game to collect, never disrespect. A hey, P does it. P does. I had to get it off real quick. Ba 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 ba. Ra 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 ra. Ba 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 ba. Ra Woo. I was saving that one, but I might hey. put that on the next project though. Just a little sum. We're going to start it off right. We started off right and We're ready. starting off your Friday right, right boy. Baby. Let's go. Let's Thank go. you for tuning in. It's the Role Players Podcast. It's the Role Players Podcast. Let's go. Let's go, baby. It's always as P does. This is what we're going to give you what you need right now, Woo! today. He's fucking shooting off fucking heavy machine guns on y'all motherfuckers. Hey. Like Call of Duty in this bitch. I, I think I played Call of Duty on Saturday, so I got all, I got, <laughs> yeah. I got a real like, I got it built up. It was pent up right he now. He was bro. running through with the sticks like, I got these bars right here, rapping to every fucking dude. He fucking <laughs> shot up like, motherfucker, get down on the floor. You motherfucker, get down on the floor. <laughs> oh shit. Had the things ready, bro. Yeah, He's ready, ready for it. performance, y'all. Nah, that was just that was a little something. <laughs> hey, that was dope, man. Shit. Cool. Hey, you know what? Just for that, man, we got to start off right. I got something for you right here that we should try. You Tell me. What, what is it? Try it. It's called um, Pliny the Elder, which is um, from Russian River Brewing Company. Um, if you guys could see that. I think it's a, uh, I don't know what kind of beer. What is it? It's a Roman naturalistic historian and author. Uh, hmm. I don't know, but 8% alcohol. I'm sure you guys heard of it. I think it's kind of a little bit hard to come by, but, um, you got a, you got a bottle opener? Nah, I got You don't got bottle. a bottle opener? <laughs> All right, let me, I'll be right back, guys. Actually, since we, we talked about last week, I could open it with anything. Hey, like pop that thing open. Let's see if you got the skills. We might have to cut this in post, though. <laughs> <laughs> right here. There you go. Here Lighter. You go. There you go. That's it. There you go. Oh, right easy. There. Easy peasy. Professional. No bandages. No ba blood. No bandages. You know <laughs> no fingerprints. No, no finger evidence prints, in this no thing. Let's go. Now I'll pour this out for you. You can try it. It's from right here in uh, Northern California. So... Pour some out for you. Like that first episode, remember? We had, um, I don't know if you guys seen in the trailer or watched episode two. It was called From the Very Beginning. We popped, we had some drinks. Here you go. 
Thank you, sir. We had some drinks and we popped a, a, a champagne bottle, which was kind of perfect because I just had it and I wanted to bring it out. Yeah. And it was the sure. first episode, was, not was. even knowing until after I was cutting up the uh, the trailer and some uh, stuff I was editing. And I was like, oh, shit, that was kind of perfect that we had yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. champagne bottle for the very first episode that, that we was recorded. A, that was for Yeah. Perfect. Right in front of it was uh, kind of like an icebreaker too, because it's like, uh, damn, we're going to say some stuff. I was like, kind of get us loose and stuff. So we had that as to kind of like a, you know what I mean, a, a starter. Yeah. So probably the elder, you guys try you see? it. Um, see the bottle? I think I had this go. before, maybe. Yeah. Pliny the yeah. elder. It's like an ale. I don't know. I'm not very good at cheers. saying what kind of ale. Um, beer. But cheers, 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 cheers. Episode fourteen. Episode we fourteen is a big uh, milestone. So. Every day is a milestone, baby. This is really good. That's good. I could, like, drink that a lot. I could drink a lot of this. Is it a little sweet, kind of? Nah. It, this has, there's, like, a lot of body in it. You know what I'm saying? Body. Yeah, like, you know how some beers are very watery? Like a Modelo that's, like, yeah. more, like, uh, it's not it's condensed. It's light. It's more light. That's, like, this one has, like... It's, like, some, in the middle, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. There's something in there. I guess kind of like a Heffenweiser. Mm-hmm. Kind of like a um, I want to say, yeah, Heaven Wise or like a Blue Moon in that realm. Is, is that that's an ale, right? I'm I'm not too Belgian. Ale, don't judge like me. That. Yeah, uh, I mean, I we like beer, to drink beer, but, but we, we haven't drank precise. in a while. Yeah, I, and I'm not precise. Okay. If I drink it every day, every day, then I'll start like remembering what certain things are tasting like and how different uh, ales and uh, brewings are. Yeah, but I don't drink all the time, so. Um, we haven't drank in, on an episode for a mm -hmm. minute since the first. Well, I'm, I'm considering everything as first season because I feel like we're I just going to keep I going. Pilot, I say pilot season. Pilot season? Because that's the first introduction to see. You know, like they have on TV series, they have pilot seasons. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, just a pilot to episode. It's a, a pilot, pilot episode. But that was a pilot season. First one. That was the pilot season just yeah. to throw it out there. Get our feet and You guys wet. had no choice because we just put yeah, it up no choice, yeah. Listen, hey, we thank all the... All three of you guys. <laughs> Every week we're going to fucking make y'all feel bad. Because there's only two of y'all motherfuckers. Hey, no, it's all, you like what you like. I'm not tripping. But for the people that did hit me up uh, randomly, oh, man, I appreciate yeah. you. Because uh, you make us keep going. Those people that on the side. And you know it's crazy? Because I'd be like, damn, no one, no one's hitting. Or you no know, one's engaging. But then I see it's like 44. I was like, oh, you guys are ninjas. Ninja listeners right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the ninja listeners, they shout out to you. It's yeah, I, like I had to take down the po one of the posts because it was too the vo volume was too low the audio. So and I redid it. I was like, ah, oh, all those those viewer views are gone. Yeah. But then I put it up, and then I think a couple of days later, it was it just went up, shot up again. I was like, ah, yeah. oh, cool, cool. Because yeah. I don't even I don't even I only watch it when I'm cutting cutting up for clips. Yeah. To do clips. Yeah. That's the only time I watch it. But then I was like, and I was like the first maybe me you mean you were doing the same thing, and we we're like the first three viewers. And then yeah. later on, like right now, it's like. Does that count four, as views? Like every time you uh, try to cut a, up a, a video. More than a minute, I think. No, but like say you keep going back to a video just to look at what you need. Like even though you didn't finish an episode, does that count as a, um, a view? I think so. Say like I stopped at two minutes and I left it alone. I turned it off and I went back to look at it again for like another two minutes or I searched through the episode. Does that count as another view after that? Well, on the uh, the anchor, it shows like if and it says if you play over a minute, then that counts as a view. Oh, okay. So, yeah. excuse me. Uh, so then, like the uh, the sponsor that we have, if they play the whole thing, then that counts. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that counts. It counts so. to our pennies and cents. <laughs> um, how did um? So, you know what I like when um when people s recite like like say like re references to like hey remember that one time when you guys said you know the beat offer i was dying that's lets me know that you guys watched the episode because it's like oh shit like yeah. you said something that oh you guys are it's actually specific watching. like detailed yeah. and stuff. i yeah. don't really like being like hey you watch that i don't really like I, doing I don't that do, I don't do or that if either. somebody says yeah hey, i watched it i'm like ah, cool, cool. i don't want to talk about it like unless they really like want to and then they say, be like if they go in say, depth yeah and they go in depth that's when i'm like oh shit right on hell yeah that makes me feel good too yeah. but thanks you guys for the, all the uh, support Appreciate and all that yeah, um, all, all the people that keep saying like oh man this is fun when i'm at work and stuff people see me dying you know this is for you for sure yeah, yeah. might as well do, say at the it, top of the episode 
basically it's like we're, you're kicking it with us. Yeah. You, you, if you throw us in the whip, we're like in the back seat right we now. We want to make it like that. Yeah, we want to make it like we we're about to go on a road trip right now. You know what I mean? Maybe yeah. we, should, we should plan a big ass road trip. Everybody, everybody, oh, just man, go. Let's go. Hard. I Let's want go. to though. Yeah, sure. yeah. When we, when we do that, I want to do camping. I want to maybe like even like Disneyland. That one's kind of pricey though. But Whoa. I remember when we were young, we took a trip to Disneyland with all like our cousins and uncles. Like it was a convoy too though yeah, because it was yeah. like yeah. At, back in the that. day, everybody just drove. I remember. Nobody that. really flew not that i know of because but then it was a convoy and i was like Ugh, we all stayed in the same hotel and for all that sure, for sure yeah, our, yeah. so speaking of that too uh our cousin our uncle they had that blue ash uh astro van the ford and then uh, it was like blue and silver or something yeah 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 and then uh, uh our cousin we used to because our dads are really close and when we used to go road trips with them we would always like pair up because there's three of them and there's three of us so then certain times we'd be like oh can i ride with blah blah it will switch or something. <laughs> and then sometimes I didn't get to go, and then our older sister would switch, and I'd be like, damn, they're probably having hella fun right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> you always want to be with your cousin and shit. Because it's boring on the fucking road. Because you're sick of you your, own, fucking... your own person. Yeah, your I've been in this car for so So if you long. ride with someone and it's cool, like you get to switch, and, or, oh, I'm going to ride with uh, Uncle Boba, and then, you know, if the uncle says, now it's like, uh, Delilah does that now too. She'd be like, oh, can I ride with them? And then sometimes I'd be like, no. <laughs> for no reason. Like, nah. <laughs> You can't yet to but, ride with nah, us. No, but then or I'll be like uh, like her other uh, cousin. She goes, can I ride with you guys? Like, yeah, for sure. You can ride with us. Um, it's cool. Remember those? Because back then, we didn't have no iPads. Nothing, we didn't have dude. No That's crazy fucking, to think of. We didn't have no phones. Like, Walkmans was a thing, but you didn't really, like, if you had your tapes, then okay. But it's like, you get tired of that. You yeah. just look out the window the whole time and shit. So, like, what was something, what were the things that we had to do to keep ourselves busy? I would think uh, when I would be driving on a road trip, I'd always think, like, I had a big-ass samurai sword, and I'd be cutting all the telephone poles down and all the trees. <laughs> I'll, I'll, be, like, I'll be doing, like, some ninja stuff, like, on the window in my own head because, yeah. uh, you know, because I watch hell like, kung fu stuff. Yeah, and yeah, I just yeah. be thinking I'm, like, running, like, in a ninja in the forest and just Ooh, chop. Choo, 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 make <laughs> yeah. the sound, too. Shit. <laughs> yeah. mine, mine was, like... You know, like in the um, in the farms and shit, and they're like perfectly because they're like in lines, mm -hmm. and it's like fucking um, the farm, and then like just trees and all that. I used to go like this in the window, like we're, I'm jumping on on the trees. Like jumping <laughs> they have over a game like that now, dude. <laughs> Stick man or something like that, bro. <laughs> Straight up, dude. Yeah, it's dude. like an app right now, yeah, bro. How they play it? Really play it? Like they get points for that shit. Like yeah, that doing or that. like this is some all, all off the off the subject type shit. But then like I would think like. I would daydream, right? Because we're in a road uh, road trip. I would daydream, and I would think about something that would bring me to another thought, and it'll bring me to another thought. Like it was, I'll be thinking. So that was a game, or it just it was just it was how just you thought. It was just how I thought, like how I would daydream, and then I would think how I got to the last. Um, oh, you try to remember how the <laughs> hell did I get there? <laughs> I would jump back. I would, just, I would leap back. It's like Inception, bro. Yeah, I was, yeah, I would yeah. Just like jump back. <laughs> <laughs> it would be so stupid and i'd be like why would I, why did i waste so much time trying to think about what's the first thing i thought of and i was like oh it was chocolate chip cookies yeah yeah because yeah. i ate chocolate chip cookies <laughs> in mcdonald's in downtown and then it and was I, melting and then i, and then was I like... saw a bum in downtown and then we went to a store <laughs> we ate chinese food and then we went to the golden gate park mm, chinese food is good yeah. i love fucking uh i saw rollerbladers <laughs> at golden gate park Damn, I used to roller... it went all oh, it went far hey yeah that's how i'd be doing too i was like how the fuck did i get to this point dude. <laughs> that's like podcasting when we start talking about some random shit like how do the fuck we get here like yeah, when yeah, we start yeah, yeah. talking about to well my thought was here. like that though when i was a kid i would daydream like crazy. that or you have to make sure that you brought a toy or something oh yeah because like you would just be bored like yeah. and then you could just play in this corner like, how about when you became older and then you don't play with toys it's just like oh no the cell phones already came out though already huh? when i got older when i had a cell i felt you didn't got a cell okay phone. so you didn't drive yet and you didn't have a cell phone and you're uh, like teenager tweens I, I got myself mom got me a cell phone when i was in eighth grade i might have been seventh or eighth oh, before, grade before that though like, and then before that um it like, wasn't really nothing like i would like 10 years I did old magazines i remember it was mag not well magazine was hard because you get like fucking car sick and then um i would make them make my mom and dad uh play my music that i wanted so we would burn cds and play the music oh, i wanted yeah but also, I always had to get a snack, which was when we went to the store before we left, was hot Cheetos and blue Gatorade. 
that was always my uh, road trip snack. Once you guys stopped riding with us, because you guys were older and you guys stopped riding with us, and then it was like, all right, it's time to. Uh, oh, it's just you, do, mom, you, and me, mom, and me, mom, and dad. For how long? Uh, probably it was a couple of years that we did it, and then um, yeah, there's I don't know toys, and then at least I would have the back seat to myself, and I would like lay sideways. I could oh, I could lay shit. sideways now. I used to always be hella scared because I didn't know if the door was going to open and fucking I'll fall out oh, yeah, and shit. shit for so, real. But I remember, like, damn, there used to be three of us in the fucking... In the backseat? It was in a two Audi, do- two-door two coupe. I'm trying to get one of those again. Those are hard, dude. The Audi... It's not a, is it a Quattro? GT. Audi GT. GT Quattro. Like an like 89. 89. That was hard. That was, like, one That's of the first... That's a rally one, too. That was one of the first fucking, um, like, digital dashboards. Yeah, man. I'm just waiting until I get paid so I can... I'm gonna get all those old cars again. Old cars, yeah, man. Those are tight because, um, it, dude, After my dad my drew, drove <laughs> like up and down the coast with a stick shift, dude. Yeah, that's crazy. North, uh, uh, that's crazy, yeah. To Canada. To Canada and a stick shift. Imagine being like, that's cool. I mean, because it's long drives and then you don't have to worry about it when you're like going, you know, uh, uh, high speed. But then, like, Bro. in traffic, that shit's a bitch, dude. dude. That damn that's a sad bro because I would think like hot like you doing manual stick all the way up 101 in the mountains and everything and then he would do this guy's now I think about hell appreciate like he would bring my bike too like I'll yeah. have uh, my bike in the back on the spoiler like he has a bike rack and then he has a cooler with a rack on top the cooler with the rack which is and, bungee cords on I, it the I bungee would, net i would always look at it like the freight liners that's carrying the gasoline the reflection and i would try to check if our stuff is still like if my bike fell off or something i'll get <laughs> you know so scared saying? driving next yeah. to those things when we have to pass one <gasps> yeah, even I'm me too. Hell in, my, in, my, in the big SUV we have right now, I'd be like nervous too. I'd be like, oh. to pass it, huh? <laughs> yeah, you have to speed up. <laughs> ten, was it yeah. ten and two? Ten and two. Like. Nah, even shit. I drive the fucking big ass fucking shuttle bus. Yeah, fucking going next to those things, trying to pass it up. It's like, <sighs> and then just fucking, you gotta speed up or just fucking slow down. Try to, but trying to stay in the lane and not going to the other person's lane, it's just kind of like nerve wracking. But yeah. Yeah, shit, man. Road trips, dude. Yeah, those are fun, dude. It's better now. Oh, and also on top of that, dad drove the stick shift up and down the coast when we do road trips, but he's the only one because my mom, our mom, I know. I was thinking about didn't that. Didn't help because she didn't she drive stick shift. She straight away. One time we was in a uh, we was in L.A. Right? It was I think it was Fiesta or Cerritos, and I think dad, we had like a we had those tournaments, those Fiesta tournaments, and then dad. Uh, after the game, dad was like, oh, I'm going with blah, blah, blah. They're going to bring me there. And then mom was like, what about us? He's like, can you drive? It's just a straightaway. And I remember one time mom was like, damn, I don't want to drive because it, it was the Audi. And uh, I think uh, Leslie went with the other cousins from L.A. She had to drive from one park to the other, you remember uh, to that? the gym. You remember because, that? Yeah, because he left or something. And yeah. she had to get us to the gym, which is only like a block away. Yeah. But she had to drive the car. Yeah. And I don't know. She got, she made it, so yeah. I guess I don't know. I mean, I, I, that's the first time I I saw her drive. Right. Manual. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. And then we start. We got like a Buick, like a gold Buick. Uh, he, we took that too. The scraper, we right. dude. The scraper. <laughs> it was a Buick Century. It was like a 1991. I forgot about that. Yeah, that we took that. We one. took that one to uh, the Disneyland trip that we were just talking about. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah! I didn't realize yeah. that. Fucking fish the ben- bowled the out. Bench sheet, the bench sheets too. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Damn, dude. That shit is. Oh, was that? Cool too. That was a like a we V6 had a lot though. Of cars, that was a V6, trip. huh? Yeah. The scraper. I don't know. I, don't know. I forgot about that car. We had a lot of cars. It was a, it was right trip, before, right before she got the Pathfinder, huh? Pathfinder, yeah. And we took that to camping too. The uh, the Buick. Didn't we have a rack on that too, or no? Yeah, he put the rack on there. Yeah. Oh, he also came up on another station wagon, Audi. Ah, we should have kept that. It was a gray that. one. That shit was... At first, I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. But I, then we took man, it everywhere. I, I regret uh, uh, not holding on to some of his cars. <clears throat> but it's just too much to manage. I don't... You know what I mean? But, but also say like, all right, say right now you have a car and say it's not even good for you, right? And then it might be a classic, like... But by the time it gets to your kids... It's probably shitty as fuck. 
But then, like, yeah. you could also could be restored, but just not, you know. But if you just kind of well, well, keep it. But it's just like that's more of like a car, car person. I'm not as a, a car guy. I like cars, but I don't not into like how cars, how other yeah. people are. They're really and also we didn't passionate. know growing up too. We didn't know that they're yeah. like, oh shit, we didn't know that this car is gonna be yeah something. I mean, yeah, when I you just gotta hold on to stuff. You just gotta keep stuff uh you know um maintained and take yeah basically. so if you have a car and you don't know about cars just take it and get it serviced that's regularly it. man it, yeah. and then it will be okay car if you don't yeah. take care of it then it's, it's, yeah. you know it's not going to take care of you yeah so for sure you're paying lots of money you might as well spend that extra 100 200 to get it serviced and maintenance when it needs to because i like take more Is there's there no more <laughs> It was enough for two things. I wish we had. Damn, I, mean, I haven't bought beer in a long time. Yeah, that shit was good, huh? Russian River up the up the. Up the I know. Street, Once I start drinking, I just keep drinking and stuff. No, we haven't drank beer. We usually drink Modelo's. If you guys watch. Um, yeah, the first. Oh, you know what's hella funny episodes. too? Uh, um, our sister, she was like, uh, she was watching our episodes. Shout out to her. You know, saying supporting. Uh, she was like. When your brothers make you want to drink Modelo. And she started drinking Modelo <laughs> while she was watching us drink Modelo. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Leslie. I was like, oh, tight. Hell I was yeah. like, I didn't know that. Maybe she's like, yeah, that made me hella thirsty for a Modelo. <laughs> I was Modellos like, and shit. Michelle, right hey, uh, also, for you guys that's been asking, our sister is going to be on soon. So stay tuned. Look out for that episode. That's going to be somebody to look out for. We're going to have on the pod. We're going to start having guests soon. For sure, you know for sure, I mean? for sure. Since we're at the top of the episode, we're not really at the top of the episode. It's been like 10 minutes. But um, we're doing giveaways. Yes, sir. Like, or I said only subscribe and do five stars on Apple Podcasts and send us those screenshots that you did it. And we'll send you guys a bottle opener uh, and some stickers. And maybe so. some more. Yeah, maybe some more. P got you know some production is going right now. I got so. some. I got some in line in, yeah. in the production line. It's right yeah. now. It's, yeah. it's it's in the it's in the works. So but right um, now, those things that we just said is uh the main that I know OS for said, sure that we have the look, things that look, we wanna, have for wanna sure. Make, I want to make sure stuff clear. I know always said don't say nothing until you got it, but if you wait more. There's more things. No, that are but we don't want them to wait. We yeah. need them to do it now, and then oh, yeah, 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 next yeah. time. That's what I'm saying though. Yeah, but next time we could give them something else yeah, for sure. But help support, help us get out there. We need those yeah. likes, subscribes to get yeah. past our main supporters. You know what I mean? Yeah. We need. We want to get out to a little bit more to the yeah, world. For sure. You know what I mean? So just help us out. You know, and we love you. So I love you. <laughs> now it's cool though, cause it's like <laughs> my partner hit me up. Uh, she, Shout out my partner right now, uh, and he was like, "Just, he was like, bro, keep going, man. Yeah, I hella like it. He even called me too. He, he was like, I, 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 I like it, dude. Keep going, dude. And uh, uh, that shit had me dying. That shit has me yeah. dying every day, bro. And I was like, cool, right on, bro. And he's like, just keep going. It's the only way is up, man. You know what I'm saying? We it only can get it. better. And we I was like, do it. I was like, see that stuff like that. It surpasses any other engagements that we don't get or whatever. You know what I mean? Just those couple of supporters and you know but i know you guys are there though <laughs> and be yeah. hiding though because that shit is at 44 and i'll be like <laughs> i was the three that helped that <laughs> hell yeah hey i like your jersey man that's hey. about like fucking hold on let me see let me see let me count let me calculate. count it count it count that it, count is it. about 17 years old if that you, jersey if you guys don't know me now by now uh kevin garnett used to be my favorite player I know we're uh, top ba- two of all time. He yeah, says uh, Bay Area people. You know, what I mean, I love Bay Area sports, but you know, just watching sports, uh, Warriors weren't good, and they kept trading. Wait, people. you said he's top a uh, Bay Area person? Well, I'm saying because I'm from the Bay Area. Oh, you're from the Bay. Okay, I'm sorry. from the Bay Area, but um, when Warriors kept trading people, it was hard to like a person, like a person from the Warriors. I'm a basketball fan. Don't yeah. get they're going to get it twisted. You know what I mean? But one of my top players is I love Kevin Garnett because I saw him from high school and then I saw him uh, go into the NBA and I saw him fucking get like yeah dominate Chicago Bulls when Jordan was still on there you know what I mean so uh, I always always liked him he's one of the first people that came out of high school too 
um, after Moses Malone, and then he he came first, and then after a whole bunch of other of, uh, straight Kobe, out of high school, yeah. huh, a whole bunch of Kobe and all them, LeBron after what came draft after him. class was he like 97? ninety seven ninety five ninety five ninety five right before the big uh, yeah 96. the big yeah the ninety six one was the big one but that know. era from like ninety six to like whatever like was it like Steve Nash fucking Jason Kidd it was or that was that one picture. In a slam yeah, magazine, that's a 96. was there like in the front of a brick wall? There's like hell of them. It was like Jermaine O'Neal, Ray Allen, fucking Steve Nash, fucking. Um, it was a '96 yeah, draft Steph, class. Steph, Steph Mar- Stephon Marbury. Yeah, uh, Iverson, Iverson, but Iverson wasn't there for some reason. But he won rookie of the year. But he won crazy. rookie of the year. But there was a I forgot what the story was, but he wasn't in that picture. That um, they're all there. And, Sharif Abdul Rahim, I think, was there. Yeah, he was raw too. Uh, Antoine Walker, I forgot who else. Um, um uh, yeah, what was it? Yeah, was anyway, it yeah. Rashid Wallace, I think. Is it, nah, Jermaine O'Neal was in there with the Blazers jersey. But yeah, the '96 draft class was one of the fucking best, dude. That and then the also, of course, the '85 um, draft class. Or was it '84? Is it '84? '84, Michael Jordan, uh, Akeem Olajuwon. Um, <clears throat> it was 84, I think it's 85, real. We can fact check. Do you guys want me to yeah, fact check? Yeah, check it, check it, check it. Fact check right now because we got the laptops coming in right now. Test your so. mic. How fast is your uh, fingers? Uh, I'm definitely not going to be in IT right now. <laughs> I suck. <laughs> oh, how, how fast were you when you were typing? Like, uh, words per minute? You got, I don't know. You I, mean, I didn't pay attention to that shit. No? I could do pretty, f- I, not really fast, but. I think I use like maybe like three fingers. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> but I'm trying to like pretend like I'm doing it because I'm like this, but it's like actually like three fingers. <laughs> Ninety six draft class, Slam Magazine. Okay, here we go. Allen Iverson, Marcus Camby, Sharif. No, Al-Juri. check out the picture. What do you mean the picture? I thought well, you were talking the... about the, the Ray Allen. Oh no, we were talking about what draft class was Jordan in. Oh okay, I went to ninety six. My bad. We already forgot what we were doing. It's the beer already. <laughs> yeah, half a glass of beer. Um, you said 84. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, Number one, Hakeem Olajuwon. What year? 84. Oh, it is 84. Okay. 84. Hakeem Olajuwon. Here we go. Number two. What's his name? Um, Portland. Fuck, what's his name? Starts with an S. Um, damn. It's like a short name. Um, I don't know. What is Sam it? Bowie. Sam Bowie, and then Jordan, right? And then Jordan. Hey, all you guys that were Jordans, you better know what 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 year he got drafted in. Don't come to me with no different color Jordans, and you don't even know what year he drafted in. Okay, thank you. I said eighty five though. Yeah, it's all good. I, I respect you. I respect <laughs> you. <laughs> he said, "Don't be coming over me." <laughs> I said it. I, I was wrong. Sam Perkins, Charles Bar- Charles know. Barkley. Oh, Charles Barkley was in that too. Um, Melvin Turnpin, Alvin Robertson, Clyde Drexler. Um, no, John Stockton though. Oh, that's why they're hella friends. Oh, you watched the uh uh the Last Dance? There, yeah, there's so many uh, documentaries before the Last Dance that's like I know Jordan. Like, obviously, I thought it was '85, but um. I was like, but it was like I watched so many Jordan, like all the highlights in the Last Dance was kind of like, oh, we kind of knew that already, like yeah. we, you know what I mean? Like we watched all the documentaries and shit. We had yeah. DVDs of this guy. Yeah. Watch him on YouTube. You know what I mean? Yeah. Him, Iverson, and probably like fucking Jason Williams is like the top three fucking YouTube. T Mac. YouTube. Uh, T Mac too. And then we had like ankle breakers DVDs and fucking like the Dunkers DVDs or whatever. But yeah, um, yeah, the Last Dance. It was cool to see like other people's perspective on it. But it was like more like based around Jordan. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, like I don't know how to feel. It was like ten episodes. They did Scotty, which was yeah. I guess they did a lot of different people, well, but it was I mean, morally if, he, based if on it wasn't for him, Jordan. though, like, that's why the whole thing is the last dance, like, because he's the one, the main guy that bring him to, like, six championships. Like, I don't think any other player would have helped it. Maybe the different roles would have played different if it was, like, a, like, if it wasn't Jordan and it was rather it was, like, Charles Barkley that was on the Bulls. Maybe Scotty would have got more shine uh, as being, like, uh, MVP or, like, a different role 
instead of like a supporting you know what i mean so like when yeah but yeah so all right when jordan left for the year and a half it was scotty he was like runner up for mvp and then he was the main guy right yeah and then um i think in the playoffs fucking uh what he wanted the ball and they gave it to Ku Coach and they drew up See? for Ku Coach and he was like and he, he got was pissed. salty. He was but, super salty. Uh, yeah, I would be too like But if you're like so are you saying just fuck that shit? Give me the ball. Or he just went away, right? He went away from the ball. He didn't say that though. What did he, he say? He didn't say nothing. They drew up a play and then he didn't like it. What he should have done is like nah, give me the ball. Yeah, so like when when you go inbound, when you all right, br- break huddle. You go to the, you walk on the court. You tell Ku coach or whoever's inbounding the ball, I'm getting the ball. Fuck, fuck what he said. Yeah, I'm getting this shit. He didn't do that though. But he didn't do it, so he didn't have that killer he mentality. On, he stayed on the bench. He had it. Did he stay on the bench? He didn't go on the court. Oh, uh, that's what I'm saying. That's not, yeah. He didn't have that killer mentality. Like if nah, he fuck would, that if shit. he was real, like he he pouted right Which there. Which Jordan he would have been like on the court. Nah, bro, I'm getting the ball. He would have been like I, I seen Kobe. Even Kobe got it. So. I don't like the Lakers, respect, but Kobe was like, this is the play. And then when they got on the court and he said, fuck that play, give me the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he shot it. Straight up. And he probably made it. Yeah. So, Scotty didn't have that. He could have He, he could have been like, oh, whatever, fuck that play. But he said, no, I, sh- I should get the like, type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, you have that attitude where it's like, I'm going to win this shit whether I'm the guy or I'm not the guy. And if I get all the fucking blame for this shit... Fuck it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then at the same fuck. time, that's almost like like ditching your team, though. Like, you're saying, like, oh, I'm going to be on the bench. Fuck it. You guys go, like, what, bro? Yeah. Dude, this, the game is on the line, though. Yeah, it's yeah, about yeah, yeah. winning. And that's what's crazy about, like, the Warriors. Like, fucking, um, like, Clay Thompson. Like, he doesn't have to be like, oh, I want the fucking ball at the end. Or, you know what I mean? He knows, like, I'm just going to be here. And if the ball comes to me, I'm shooting this bitch. You know what yeah. I mean? But it's like, he knows his role. And then also, it's like, you know, I'm going to play my part. Because he doesn't have to be like, oh, Steph, they're talking about Steph all the time. They're talking about Steph all the time. Fuck that shit. You know what I mean? I'm going to go to another team. But it's like, you know, play your part. He knows his part. But he's not going to be like, oh, I should be. The, like, because Scotty was talking in his book or whatever. Like, I, I was better than Jordan or some shit like that. Yeah. He was saying all that shit, that. I think. He was talking hella crazy now. It's like, come on, bro. Like, Jordan had that fucking man. You know what my favorite? Um story was um about jordan is uh steve smith told a story on one of the shows on nba tv called open court which was one of my favorite shows i oh, hope yeah, I wish they would too. brought it back but too. he was steve smith was saying that um he was checking jordan one time and then um for some reason jordan was like at the beginning of the game he was like he just started saying 44 and the next time down he made a shot he made uh, the next time down, he said, 42. And then he kept saying <laughs> He kept counting down. By halftime, it was like 22. And then by the end of the game, he had like 40 points. <laughs> like, damn, bro. What kind of t- shit talking is that? Like to himself too? He's not, you're not even filling in the guy that you're talking shit to. It's backwards. Damn, that guy's on a different level, bro. He knew he was going for 40. 50. Whatever it was. But he like... Obviously, it's like kind of like just summarizing or whatever. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know yeah. what the real details are. But it's crazy to talk shit like that and not even fill in the guy that across from you. Like I'm going for forty, bro. <laughs> that's like supreme confidence. Damn, dog, that shit is crazy, man. And that shit is hard, man. But when I think it's easier when you know the offense is running around you, yeah. you could do whatever the fuck you want for sure. So yeah, man. But. How we get there from your jersey? Oh yeah, Wait, Jordan, that, 90, 95, 96 era. That shit, um, seventeen years, man. I got that shit at Foot Locker when yeah. I used to work at Foot Locker. So if you guys don't know me, you probably more. You, I be, I wore this before a long time already, many times. But uh, yeah, you know, I just keep it, you know, because I got it with my fucking. Uh, it was used like to a work at Foot Locker. Buy one get one half off, and I got Indian Indianapolis pace. No. I got a fucking Portland Trail Blazers Rasheed Wallace, uh-huh. and he got traded to the. I mean, Hawks I got a lot of Warriors week. jersey too. <laughs> I was hot. I was mad, dude. I was like, he got traded to the fucking um, 
To the fucking Hawks? I was like, fuck this shit. But then he went to the uh, Pistons. Oh, no, 2005. No, no, it, it, was, it was a Jermaine O'Neal jersey. I had a, um, I had a Blazers jersey before that. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, man. I think that's one of the best jerseys in the league before. Black. Timberwolves with the fucking trees on the there's neck other line. there's other black jerseys that uh now they have all different colors but be back then they had like cool like Phoenix Suns had a black jersey um Chicago Bulls had a black jersey yeah um Orlando oh, Magic with the pinstripes yeah the pinstripe one Orlando yeah, Magic had one who else the uh, black pinstripe Orlando Magic black yeah those are tight um, I had a Kings, uh, uh, Chris Weber, black jersey. I'll get a Jason Williams. This is yeah. a hard one right there. Um, who else has a black jersey? Um, uh, yeah, the Suns was tight. The Jazz had the black one. Yeah, Jazz had one. They had a black one. I had um, a Sixers, uh, um, Allen Iverson. The Iverson one was pretty sick. Uh, what else? Uh, Who's in Dallas? Spurs? No, I never really had a Spurs. I, I, I didn't really Spurs. like those ones. But I would get a Ginobili jersey. That's a pretty hard jersey to get. Yeah. Um, I think that's everybody, huh? Yeah. Shit, man. Yeah, those are pretty dope jerseys. Now it's just like hella. They do everything like city edition jersey. Yeah, it's fucking, all different colorways. Just like how yeah. like how we explained like the Jordans. They're just coming out with a crazy ass uh, yeah. Jordans and stuff. Yeah, fucking red hot, burning pee pee night jerseys. What's that? What's red? <laughs> like hot? they just have some random names oh, for yeah, like, like the color. oh, it's the fucking air thrust jersey night or yeah. something. <laughs> pelvic thrust, <laughs> pelvic thrust jersey night. Fucking Filipino heritage night. Fucking beige clip your toenails. Per, uh, <laughs> fucking color night and shit. <laughs> Fucking hot breath night. <laughs> what color is that green? <laughs> Peppy Le Pew's funky. <laughs> the funky. Funky, funky. butt loving. <laughs> All love right, him. man. Uh, let's transition to some. Um, I was uh, uh, looking over. I was just listening to music. And uh, many of you know I put out some music this week. Um you know, stream it, support your guy. Uh, but uh, I was looking at my music influences, and uh, it came from a variety of different places of music influences. It was like either it was on the TV or on the radio, and it's like I couldn't really um, escape getting influenced by it because uh, one of our cousins, he's a DJ. You know, um, shout out to him. He's out there. In, Who's that? Uh, he's out there in Vegas. Shout right him now. out! Shout him out! Who's that? Uh, the homie Trey Mark, you know what I'm saying? Trey Mark. Shout you out, brother. And our other cousin uh, that's out there doing a big, uh, doing Jeff Toon K. Toon K. Jeff Toon K. Yeah, Jeff for Toon sure. For sure. Out in Vegas doing a little big. Doing, doing big. big. Um, doing their thing. Uh, a lot of music influence when I was growing up. And uh, another uh, uh, influencer, um, my cousin, um, used to make these mixtapes for everybody. And if you are special enough... He will give you a mixtape and say, hey, these are the newest songs that are out right now. Um, just in case you don't want to listen to the radio and you want to have it faster, more faster in your hands. And you can just listen to your song instead of listening to the radio. And we would come out with these volumes and they would, they would be labeled Let It Knock Volume 1. Uh, and then it was Voltron Records. And he had everything that you wanted. He says, what do you want? You want, you want R&B? And then he labeled R&B, Let It Knock. Or you want uh, reggae, uh, reggae, let it knock. This guy was halfway a DJ. I don't <laughs> know why he didn't be a DJ. He was so organized. He had his computer, had a he had a whole binder of everything. And I was just amazed of how organized he was. And uh, shout out to him because uh, he put me on a lot of good music um, growing up. Made me want to make music and just not even make music. Just kind of like uh, appreciate different kinds of music. And... Uh, I have one of those. Yeah, still. I have one too in my CD case. I have one in in the CD player of my car because we were <laughs> talking about it one time. Yeah, and I was like, I think I have one, and I have yeah. one of those uh, things that go onto your uh, your visor. Yeah, and I was looking for it, and I was like, I do have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Voltron Records. It says Mac Dre tribute mix. Yeah, Voltron <laughs> Records. Let it knock volume whatever you had, and then he, this guy was super organized, and you can go to his house and make a mix yourself. 
And if you were special enough to him, he would be like, here's a CD or here's some CDs or some music that I just gathered. And um, shout out to him and the other cousins that are DJs. Um, but uh, uh, I'm going to put out um, top 10 uh, music albums that, you know, when I grew up um, that influenced me. All right. Not in any specific order. And then you tell me how you feel about it. Um, number one, not in any special order. It's not just the first one. It's just something that I felt really influenced by. 50 Cent, Get Rich or Die Trying. The whole album had hits, of course, uh, in the club, 21 Questions. One of my favorite songs, Many Men. Number two, Usher Confessions. R&B song, Ooh, R&B, yeah. And even one. when he had that phone call, remember he was like talking <laughs> in the room. Yeah. Hello? You lying. Remember that? That was like, yeah. that, that kind of <laughs> gave you a, like an in-depth look of like where he was like, you know, is this is this true? Is this true life right now? That was, is one, this really of, that happening? was one of the greatest. But it was just a, it was just an act that to like dramatize everything. One of the greatest albums ever. But yeah, you yeah. did really went through that. That's not him though. You know who who I heard? It's JD. Wait, Usher didn't go through that with uh with uh that was Chili? G no, it was that's JD. Isn't that JD? Who's saying he say this like do act this reenact this is from my. He life. went through that with. Chili, didn't he? No. Usher. He no. really that was his story. Well, that was his story. I thought it was JD's story. You wanna fact check it? Go, keep going. Okay, so uh yeah, on the it was on the phone call. So that made you give you a little bit more in depth of his life before like social media and everything. So um I know some people were like, I don't care about that, but you know, and you just kinda showed you some kind of like uh um inside depth into their life uh let me keep going on the numbers what do you say jermaine dupree says confessions was about his side baby it's jermaine dupree one of the writers and producers of the song came forward later to confirm that the song was about his personal experiences and not ushers yeah pretty much my yeah my life D dupree commented on vlad tv typical story of a man this is real life damn see I didn't know that. I thought it was fucking Usher the That's whole time because he was with with he, Chili, and then yeah. in the song in the music video because they broke up yeah. around that time too. Yeah, and no, she wasn't there. That was somebody. Was that her? I think it was just a. It uh, was a look alike. Look alike, yeah. That's why I was like, oh shit, it was. Oh, I thought this whole time for fucking how many fucking years? Sorry, he was blasting. My bad, but yeah, I thought, damn. Yeah, that's oh what, shit, it's crazy, right? So Breaking it makes news. you think. It makes you think now, like, but that whole like him doing that whole scene, it makes you think that it's him. That's why he played it really good. Yeah, he played it, it really good, good but so. it doesn't really make me think. I was just I'm mind right. blown that it wasn't him. Moving was, on, all these years, that's a great fucking album, dude. Yeah, Confessions. that's what I'm saying. So these are albums that kind of helped me influence my music taste and everything. And I just want to let you know, yeah, burn. Uh, uh, these are my confessions. You know, was my There's boo on that song? No, that's a no, different album. A different album. <laughs> all right. Um, moving on, um, Meth and Red, uh, Blackout album, The Rock Wilder. I think mm. I got that for Christmas. Uh, I always remember that song, um, in All About the Benjamins when they find the diamonds. Yeah. And they, um, pull it out on the table. Great movie. And then they fucking start fucking going crazy. Mike yeah. Epson fucking, uh, Ice Cube. Great movie. Oh shit, we're fucking rich. Yep, yep. Yeah. I don't um, that song. That was number three. Number four, uh, San Quinn, uh, I Give You My Word album, He because he made it on MTV. And uh, my other cousin, shout out him, the Voltron Records, he used to always put me on game about San Quinn. He's like, hey, he's from San Francisco. And they made it to MTV music videos. So, like, Ooh. Bay Area people would never make it on MTV before. Now, they're everywhere. Like, you know, all the Bay artists, like Pilo, freaking yeah. Simba, everybody's everywhere. San Quinn made it. He was on magazines too, yeah. showing his article about where he's from, what district he's from. So, you know, shout out him. And I love that album. Um, uh, next, number five, Alicia Keys, Songs in A Minor, which is a really good album. Which one is that? Like her the first, very first, first album. One? Oh, I love that Falling. one too. Um, Sometimes I love you. Sometimes, sometimes you make me feel blue. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Um, all right, that's uh, number five. Number six is E40, Grit and Grind. 
That's the uh, uh, album when he had the uh, automatic, systematic, was it fabulous. Yeah, or that was on. I was on MTV too. So like a lot before, a lot of Bay Area people were not on the MTV video stuff. Now, now you can do YouTube now, but they used to have these music uh, video channels that only play outside of. They only play LA and then outside of Bay Area, like other places. What was that? What? What? You said a TV show? Yeah, like MTV Countdown. Or like uh, Rap City, they never play Bay yeah. Area stuff. And then uh, you know the um, other um, uh, music video spot to just watch uh, music videos, MTV Two, MTV. MTV Two Jams or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, MTV yeah. Jams, and he just played music videos all day. I love that fucking yeah. one. Yeah. And they started having those Ozone Awards, yeah, which yeah, was hella yeah, ghetto yeah. and shit. So I was gonna get to that too, but, but yeah, all right, some the, of it. Before it was the magazine. Before I mean, we can talk about it right but now. But also one of the other TV shows that when we didn't have cable and before all the MTV stuff was uh, CMC, CMC with fucking that's the uh, Chewy area. Gomez, yep, yep. man. Uh, not Christian McCaffrey, which <laughs> hey, Niners. Shout out, shout out, Niners. Hey, let's hey get man, it. we're doing it. Um, but CMC, every time when yep. I get home, these guys will be hugging the TV. Um, him and my sister hugging the TV for CMC and watching Chewy Gomez. Uh, he was not, that was probably one of the first podcasts. Ever. No, it was like on air radio, but it was like yeah, playing he, music and, and music he was just videos. playing music and then they're just, you know what I'm saying? Doing their thing, you know, yeah. letting everybody see the, the, uh, thriving Bay Area music. I think the area. first ever song that I got hooked to on that fucking thing and I loved it was, uh, a Maya I think it was like Superstar or something like that. Ghetto Superstar. Ghetto Superstar. Oh <laughs> yeah. my but God. ODB was on she there. Was so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for that sure. That was like one of the first ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, like again, these are these are music and albums that uh, helped me influence my taste in music. Um, if you guys don't know about it, check it out. I'm sure a lot of you do because you guys all know who I am. But um, hey, are these there's the, other? Are these these are other albums too? Are these albums that influenced your uh, music and your uh, listening style? <laughs> <laughs> hey, check I'm just out. wondering. Is yeah, this? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, is this? Let me keep going. Let me keep going. Let me keep going. You're making fun of me now. You said it like four times. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> we can cut that. We'll cut that in post. No. It's funny. This content. Uh, number seven, uh, Mac Drake, Dizzle Washington. Uh, mm. when we were, uh, hanging out with some friends and family, uh, one of the homies from Vallejo, he started dancing like crazy when he heard one of his songs. I was like, what are you doing? He's like, it's called the bird. This is what Mac Dre does. And he started like waving his arms and stuff and like popping his collar super. And I was like, whoa. And he was doing this face and he was like, I was like, why, why you look like that? He says, it's called this face. And I was like, oh shit, that's crazy. And then yeah. some of my, uh, homies from, uh, SF, they were doing it too. And I was like, damn, all of you guys are on this thing? And he was like, dude, this Mac Dre is the newest thing, bro. And it was like 2000, it was early, early, early 2000s. 2005, I was a freshman in high school and yeah. um, I was in the woodshop class. And one of my boy uh, friends that I just met and shit, he was like, hey, what well, music you listen to? And I was like, oh, I listen to rap and all that, whatever. And like, he just started hanging out with us and then he was cool. We became cool. And he was like, here, hey, take this, you can borrow it. And it was a uh, Mac Dre, Al Boo Boo. And mm. that was one of my favorite. That's one of my favorite albums to this day. Like I fucking fuck with that album, Morals and Standards, fucking yeah. um, Mafioso, Mafioso, um, fucking uh, what was that other one? That fucking um, oh, shit, where he takes the girl out. He takes the girl. Out. Uh, I rather Benny Hanna's. Say what's that for? Cause that ain't only drama or some shit like that. Uh, anyways, you guys know what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All that, all that, all that, all that, all that. But yeah, Al Boo Boo is probably one of my favorite um, albums from Mac Dre, and that one in uh, the game is thick. Game is thick is part hard. two. Part or the two. Uh, um, Genie of the Lamp. I like Genie of the Lamp. Genie of the Lamp it's is the good. One. Of the lamp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genie of the Lamp is a really good one too. When I'm out there with my team. <laughs> <laughs> Who is crazy, bro? Look how many fucking His he has so many different cadences and different types of flows and um his out of pocket is, out of yeah, out of pocket bars. Yeah. It's just so crazy yeah, that yeah. you wouldn't think that on top of flow because flow is like you got to have it for a rapper yeah but and then like outside like cadence yeah that's not have to do with rap kind of like your original rap and then like um just different ass personality on top of that yeah that's not just gangsta yeah what's made him like fucking 
farther than the rest like Game, above the rest bro. yeah 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 so it was like crazy because it's like oh shit you know you what just i mean had game like, bro yeah so mac dre yeah for sure um this is washington so yeah shout games. out shout out him uh number eight lil wayne carter two Lil Wayne Carter too. Uh, they had the, they had on NBA 2K. They had the, uh, one of my favorite songs is like "Fly Out." It's like one of the last songs on the album. That one's like a played through album. I tried to talk to him. I tried to talk to him. I had to hit him up, hit him up. Yeah, <laughs> all that. Uh, number nine, Green Day, because it was on Tony Hawk. So I had to look it up. The album is Dookie. The, when I come around. Yeah, that song. Uh. Yeah, that song's cool. And then uh, number ten. But Luke, the album, though? That album's called Dookie. Yeah. So, all right. So, I was having a debate. Sorry to cut you off. Cool. But, all right. You know what? Finish it, and then we'll go after. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. Number 10, uh, Ludacris, Word of Mouth. Word of Mouth. Yeah. That's and at the end of his albums, he used to have freestyles, so that was kind of cool. So, um, yeah, it's my top 10. Um, Mine was... Uh, influencing albums. It's not top 10, like... Oh, these is the best album that can spit. Because there's other albums like they had some Wu Tang stuff, but it is like the one that influenced you. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. What are you gonna say? Um. All right. Oh yeah. So I was having this debate with um, Mia and a couple friends, um, because we were saying something about like we're talking about Kanye or something, and they're like, um. Oh, I forgot. Not throwing shade, but drop, drop, drop. Uh. The college drama, that's a good album too. I forgot how to put that. That was pretty good. That was the first yeah, that was yeah, that was a good one. But um they're saying, Oh, um uh eight oh eights and heartbreaks, that's a that's a classic album. And I was like, Is that that's a classic album? It's like, only two songs. And I was like, um it's a classic album, but you can't name you probably can't name five songs from it. And she was like, yeah, but it's a classic album, though. Like, I know the songs. And I was like, I think the song- is it a classic album if you can't really name songs? Like, all right, maybe, like, separate. Um, like, you know the songs, but that doesn't, you know, make it a classic album that everybody think, you know, because everybody probably has to think that it's a classic album mm-hmm. for it to knock. But I only know a couple of songs. Or I said, all right, if it's a, it's a, if it's a classic um, album, you got to name me a couple songs, right? And she yeah. was like, uh... Love Lockdown and Heart Heartless. That's yeah, it. and then I don't know what the rest is. So it's like I can't I really, either. you know, I can't. I'm sorry. I was like, I'm sorry. I can't really, you know, give it to you because you can't tell me these songs. Like, oh, I forgot. I was like, because graduation well, is uh, Good Morning, um, uh, Stronger, yeah, um, uh, Barry Bonds. Um, what else is there? Uh, there was another one. Spaceships? Oh no, that was no, no, that's not the one. The one I with forget. Lupe Fiasco. But that's already three that already named on the graduation. Yeah. I have the album. I bought the album on uh, on uh, iTunes. So what makes a classic album? You think? I think more hits like uh, like build- a play. You got to play through. Play through, bro. That's that's. It got to be played I, through. Even, even if it's not Billboard, if it play through, like you just press play, like the J Cole album. That's like play through, bro. Basically. Oh yeah, fucking uh, um, uh, Forest Hill Drive. I think it's like double platinum, no fucking features, no and features, shit. bro. Fucking Forest Hill Drive, yeah, man. Kendrick Lamar, you can play it all the way through. It's a story, bro. Good if you, man, if City, you just pick that one, that is a fucking good one. Right if there. you if you just play that so- that just one song from there, it's like, dude, start in the beginning because you have to see him like g- take the van out from his mom, listen to the voicemail, yeah, oh. and you have to get in the in the. Those and, and, hey, KD, bring you. I and gotta, it takes you on a fucking yeah. trip. Because it's a story. I love yeah. those ones where it's like, Me too. all right, you got to listen to the first one yeah. to understand the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, those are dope. And then, yeah, get rich, or, get, rich or, get rich or die trying. Patiently waiting. Yeah. Uh, I know he like my style. Dun, 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 <laughs> hey. Like my style. Hey. And then that one. And then heat. And then um, in the, heat. Uh, <laughs> in the club. Heat. They got uh, 21 questions. P-I-M-P. Yeah, yeah P-I-M-P. He, uh, many men, many men, um, I've Wangsta, I guess, yeah, you know, um, yeah, those are my favorites on there, it was Heat, Like My Style, and Patiently Waiting, and Many Men, yeah, that was like the first one that I always loved, but then Patiently Waiting is probably my top, and then, um, what else was one, Ludacris, Back for the Very First Time, 
Southern Hospitality, um, Grills. Um, well, mine. That was mine. Yeah. Back for the very first time was just like, oh, shit, this is fucking dope. And he's just a fucking real, just lyricist MC. You know what I mean? Like, so him probably being one of my top 10 rappers, like, that's tight. In, um, in, the, in the heyday. In his heyday? Yeah, right. Even on features, he's fucking dope as fuck. Yeah, he, because he, you need bars to like. If you're gonna take over a, a a remix or something, yeah, he's one that's gonna take over a remix. All right, so let me, he has first song coming to America, roll out, go to sleep, ho, cry babies. She said, how um, area codes? Damn, that was a hard ass song too. In different area codes, <laughs> growing pains, um, move, growing pains bitch. Is a good one. Stop lying. That is a good Saturday. Oh, that was a hard one. That is a good album. I told you. Until you're outside of the club and you're just listening to it by yourself. It's not like you're going to put on. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 for sure. Like fucking cleaning on a Saturday morning. I'm, Move, bitch. Get out the way. I'm Get not, out the way, bitch. Get out the way. Roll out, my homie. I'm roll not, out. That would be kind of hard, though. Roll out. Hold on, because we have, I have a playlist uh, uh, with my girl. It's 2000s uh, rap. And they have some certain songs. I was like, yeah, I remember this shit. And then we'll play. Yeah, I don't see myself like, all right, I'm going to go to a party and like, we're going to go to a barbecue and I'm playing Ludacris fucking Move Bitch Get Out The Way. It's a good, uh, those are good albums. I'm not saying that that's not going to be in my top like, you know, five pages of fucking CD book. Which one? Uh, Word of Mouth? Yeah. Okay. Um, Respect it. What else is another good album? Here, I'm trying to look up the Heartbreaks and see how many songs I know. 808s and Heartbreaks. Yeah. My Beautiful Twisted, Dark Twisted Fantasy. It's better. Hell yeah. It's better. They got Lights, Power. College Dropout is better. Okay, so they only have Say You Will. I never heard that song. Welcome to Heartbreak. Never Heart. Heartless. Oh, Amazing. Amazing. With Young Jeezy. Yeah, they used that one with... Uh, Love Lockdown. They used that one in the NBA. Okay. Yeah, in NBA 2K, right? Um, Paranoid, Robocop, Streetlights, Bad News, See You in Nightmare. I don't know any of those songs. Um, Pinocchio, Freestyle, and uh, Coldest Winter. Nah, I don't know any of those songs. Who is one rapper that you thought or <clears throat> that you listened to that you wanted to, like, blow up mainstream and just be the fucking top guy? Uh, shoot. Probably Mac Dre, San Quinn. Oh, Mac Dre. Mac Dre, San Quinn, Andre Nicotina. Yeah. Um, I mean, from out here, God. yeah, th just those guys that we Mac know, Dre, right? man, damn. Um, I mean, but we already have, like, I mean, some people don't listen to him, but Burner's like one of the popular guys now, yeah. like, he's up there, so it's like, you know, you feel more proud, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I yeah, wish, I wish I Am Sue got more, like, features with, across the industry. Mm-hmm. So I, w I wish that happened. Yeah, he, would, he, I, he was hitting. I, yeah. you know, I don't know what happened with him and Pilo, but they don't make music. I feel like they don't yeah, make Pilo's music together. Yeah, Pilo's popping too. So, I Pilo's mean, we popping. Can't, we can't, I can't. But I also wanted to go like fucking like big. I wanted YB, your boy. Oh, your boy. Y, and then he turned into YB the rock star. Well, now he's a rich. Rich, rich, ro rich rocker. Yeah, rich rocker now. That's but, a oh, that's man, a that, uh, two, Kush 2019 2009 Kush yeah. 2009 when he did all the uh, Dr Dre beats yeah fucking bodied that was shit was that like a hundred bars and running or something like that hundred bars of death was one of his freestyles yeah. which he fucking bodied that shit yeah. and then uh, Kush 2009 when he did all Dr Dre beats yeah whoo boy hey go back and listen to that shit that guy go hard. <laughs> like when he, one one of them he was like um. Sickness.net. Yeah, I yeah. Love the, dot net. yeah. He did it at the w end. He's like, hot, hot new hip hop dot com. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, all that. He just kept going and he's like, check me out on da 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 dot com, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 dot com, Facebook dot com, MySpace dot com, <laughs> MySpace, Friendster dot com. He was doing that, dude. Check it out, man. Yeah. Yeah, but I wish he would blow would have blown up um, bigger than what he was. Um, and obviously E40, like from the Bay, he's, he's, oh, yeah, for sure. he's up there. Everybody knows him. Everybody he did knows features him. with everybody. Some people don't like him though, but you know, whatever, who cares? Yeah. Don't care. I don't still care about going, man. He, he got bars, yo. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's keeping going, man. He's keeping it like relevant. He's keeping himself relevant. That's the basic what it is. He's reinventing himself and staying the same person at the same time. Like, wasn't, um, wasn't, uh, your boy like a blood or something? 
I don't know. I don't want to get into that gang stuff like that. I'm not, I don't. Yeah, that's not my. Anyways, realm. I'm gonna get into that gang stuff. So, <laughs> go. What I found, um, I was uh just scrolling and scrolling on my phone one day, and um, and I was on Facebook and uh, I was scrolling and scrolling and I was like, um, I came past this. It said Blood Gang, and then it said Join Group. So I pressed Join Group and I was part of the fucking Bloods, y'all. Oh my god, what's up, Blood? <laughs> <laughs> so. I don't think. And I immediately unclicked and unjoined. <laughs> That's hilarious. And then I went to, I uh, typed in Crips, and then you could join Crips too. <laughs> it was like a video game. Damn. So I was looking through the fucking. Um... <laughs> hey, can I click college graduate? <laughs> you could put it in your profile. <laughs> Prestigious college Dude. of uh, North Haven academics. <laughs> that shit's hilarious, bro. <laughs> you could put fucking, you could fucking be whoever you want on fucking online. Online, and shit. bro. But <laughs> this guy's post, it's a, it's a selfie of him in this angle right here. So it's looking down at him. He has a red, he has a red bandana on. It's like tied like Tupac. Oh my god. <laughs> it said, his caption was red inside and out until the moon goes down. <laughs> <laughs> is that his status or like his... <laughs> look, look. say it again look. red inside and out until the moon goes down <laughs> what does that mean so once the once the moon goes down and the sun is up that guy he's still he's, red he's no he's not a gangster no more <laughs> In oh, the daytime, yeah. he's he's yeah. cool, he's cool. And then at night, he's a blood. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's time to get nitty gritty out here. Time to get active. It's time to get active right out here on these folks. That's just hilarious, <laughs> bro. And then, I don't know what the That's comments say. <laughs> Damn. Oh shit! And there's everybody posting selfies and shit. And then this guy's dick. He looks like. He looks kind of like Indian, but he's like skinny and he's, he looks kind of Mexican probably too. But he, he, um, he photoshopped the picture of himself with like red and all that. And he has a red bandana on his oh. face and he says, hey blood with a fucking blood drop as his caption. <laughs> hey blood. What's cracking my friend? And then, or what's, bra no. what's bracking my brud? He has five comments that people are commenting on his thing saying, Sup, blood? <laughs> Damn, you're having a kick out of this motherfucker. This shit is funny. Yeah, this funny. shit is funny as fuck. <laughs> right. And then another guy says, What up, blood? <laughs> what up, blood? So everybody accepts you already, bro. Like, you should post a picture in your red color fucking clothes and just be like, what's up, blood? Yeah, they already, they already, they already uh, accepted that you're part of the gang yeah. already. <laughs> you didn't have to ask me questions. Some groups, they ask you questions like, where are you from? That's um, on Facebook? Are you able? Yeah, so like, I have another group where like you trade like free stuff, right? So if you have like free stuff that you need to give away, get rid of, get out at your garage, yeah. you can post on Facebook, right? And yeah. you join a group. It's called Buy Nothing. They may, might have it in your area, but so check that out. But anyways, when you join the group, they ask you, say, um, what streets in this area do you know? Just so we know that you might be around to... Around this area. Yeah, so you're not just posting stuff and you're not even around the area. So it's going to be a waste of posts. You know what I mean? We don't want to be yeah, yeah. people flooding posts with like, oh, I have it over here, but you're in the side of the country. For and sure. nobody's going to see, right? So yeah. over here we have it like um, uh, buy nothing San Francisco. So at least you're in San Francisco, we know. Uh -huh. So they ask you questions like, what cross streets did you live in or do you live on now? So they know like, hey, okay, that's that's true, right? Um all right, we'll accept you to the group, right? So at least they have like a little wall, like you know, firewall to be like to filter people in. But <laughs> this the blood initiation. blood gang, you press join group and you're in, bro. Yeah. There's no you know jumping in, you know what I mean? <laughs> you don't have to do missions, man. You can't do no shit. missions. <laughs> prove prove you're down. You, you gotta uh, take a, a picture home, of your a red band. You down? Or click the link. <laughs> click the link click down below. The... 
Come, come in and subscribe, and come you'll in. get in. Dude. You ain't, you ain't subscribe? <laughs> well, you gotta ask the ten questions, a survey, and then you can get down. Because right now you're at number five. You're usually halfway down. <laughs> How can we make this blood group better? Yeah. <laughs> Post more. You ain't liked our post, bro. <laughs> mine, mine would be like it would be, um, blood, blood gang, and then my question would be, do you eat denugu on food? <laughs> <laughs> Half of them would probably be like, nah. <laughs> you can't join my group if you don't eat denugu on. <laughs> Real blood, pig blood. That shit is hilarious, Dude, bro. Damn, that's crazy nowadays. Bro. <laughs> you can join any fucking thing, like. Come on, man. That's, That's too much. It's ganging, gang banging online, fool. Online, at net bangers. Net at bangers. Is... Was food gone so wild, say? The, the net, net bangers. bangers. That shit's hilarious, dude. Shit, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> all that. That's like catfishing almost, basically. <laughs> Somebody posted um, it's a, a picture and it says red, and then it has like the. the um, definition of red and it says the single most dy dynamic and passionate color dude you gotta post dude, that dynamic. we're gonna post those those pictures that i always talking about we're right here dude this is gonna, gonna right come here. after me in right the right comments here. bro right hilarious dude that is, that is hella funny though i didn't even go lie <laughs> oh my god bro these guys this guy got red fucking gloves and shit <laughs> People are commenting, blood gang for life. Damn. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, bro. Don't what disrespect do? What are we like doing that, right man. now? What are we doing, guys? We're calling out the fake people on These guys online. are in the meta. Yeah, they're too much in the meta right now. Net bangers. Net bangers. Hey, what do you think about that? They're trying to do that. Like, have the like a world. real... Yeah. So, like, uh, like, so I was saying a couple episodes back, um, the one of the producers that's doing, like, that subscription, uh, like, how you you can be part of his group and he's gonna like it's almost like a personal trainer like how he's helping you with his, your music career your beats. yeah beats he made a meta meta metaverse it's a mansion so you meet him there you don't have you don't need the 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 meta goggles or whatever you can just go online and then you just you have to have like headphones on and then you can go to where he's at and like you just click it's like google maps and you just click yeah go forward and then backwards. i think that's the whole thing like you you're gonna uh you subscribe and then you enter in and then you're in a chat room basically with a whole bunch of people and then you can keep walking towards wherever they're at that's pretty cool though conversation so like you'll be in one room but you can still see there's like another room of people having conversation over there so it's like a group chat basically. and then it's like all right everybody here is like just chatting lobby. It up. It's basically like a lobby like a zoom mean? call yeah but it's but you're 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 virtual. You're not like actual face until you kind of get closer. So like they'll see yeah. you coming up. Cause I was watching some of it on the on uh, his page, and I was like, damn, this is crazy. Like that's where it comes to. Like, cause they had events before, like physical events that you can go to. Like you know that event like South by Southwest. Yeah. They, ha they have that down in like uh, I think in uh, Texas. And they have all different artists uh, meet up and they perform their songs. So then, like, they said that that might be the newer uh, thing where people, it's not going to be a festival. It's like a thing you join online and you pay and then you just watch the artists perform and wherever they're at. That's the metaverse. Oh, shit. Instead of, like, going to the actual spot physically. <clears throat> that that I, makes sense. And it's like, there is positives to stuff. And, like, you always think of the negatives of, like, this is a week and da da da. But there's also like a reason why people are doing it too. It's yeah. like, oh, you could get connected better, which is pretty cool. Yeah. If you think about it, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I can't be over there, but I can mm -hmm. be connected. Um, and some, <clears throat> there's a lot of people that don't want to go outside their house. So it's like a perfect way to just do that, like that. Yeah. So, like back then, even like they had like before the whole like internet, it was like a whole explosion of like you can. Damn, revving, revving hard. Uh, before you can uh, experience like what the artist was actually doing or the athlete or the actor because they had the social media phone, they had these things on the, like those channels we're talking about like BET or MTV, it would be like day in the life. So you would go on, the, the cameras would follow the artist or actor and you would go on a, 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 a whole day of them doing errands and agenda of how, how, their, how their life is. You know what I mean? Do you remember that? It was like day in the life of... Uh, 
I don't know, Usher, and then he's going to like the studio, he's going to the movie set, and going to whatever, you know, video shoot. That was on like MTV. He was on MTV, and then uh, I think I might remember. And then they had like for even rappers, they're like I think uh, Meth and Red uh, Red Man, they're uh, on tour, so they're like they wake up in the hotel and they're getting ready, and then they go to a radio station, do promo tour, and then they go to you know do the rehearsal that day, and there's a camera following them, so that's why it's called Day in the Life. So then like. Before social media, they can post that they had a camera crew or like one guy follow them through the whole day of what they're doing of their events. You know what I mean? Because they'll be in a different city. They're like, yeah, we're about to get something to eat because we've been doing all these radio interviews the whole day. And then now we got a show later on tonight at this club, blah, blah, blah. And then we're trying to get in. It would be the whole thing. So now, now it's changed where it's like you, social media, the, you have your f- camera on your phone. And now people are trying to make a, like a, payment that you you want to follow this artist then you're going to subscribe into this metaverse and watch them go to these you know follow them basically you know what i mean yeah throughout the whole day it's like a live stream the They're live stream live basically stream. yeah live stream so so and yeah it's crazy you could get paid in great many different avenues it's just are you willing to put yourself out there and put out your are you not ashamed of doing that because like I don't know. I mean, that, it doesn't make sense that like, you could do that and it will help you out in some cases, right? Yeah, if people want to know it, your every move and stuff, yeah. Yeah, then... Because there is, like, diehard, like, uh, like stands, you know what I mean? Like, of every genre. like it's whatever. Yeah, yeah, movies, like, you know, TV shows. I've seen this guy on TikTok. This guy, he was sleeping and, like, in the background, it was a screen. It says, um, um, wake me up at 5, 5 a.m. Mm-hmm. And he's just sleeping. People are watching him sleep. That's like the uh, the guy. They they uh, go on Twitch, and then everybody just watch. They just have a big screen, and they're just chilling, sitting in front of a screen, and they have like art. Like uh, you watch Aiden Ross. Nah. So this is one kid from like I don't know, I don't know middle, middle Midwest, and uh, he came out to LA to he has a big mansion that he lives in and he just twitches so it's a big screen and uh he has a keyboard and uh he just watches people watch him and then he has people like rappers or something come on and then they get streams from that oh you know how shit. people like give you money that's on crazy the Twitch? dude so there's a lot of people that are like that now that's the biggest thing now just doing whatever like some people like you could just be washing dishes and folding laundry and yeah. people watch yeah, that people shit and watch pay it. for that shit. People pay for it's that. It's your likeness, I guess, when yeah. people want to, like, <clears throat> be a part of what you're doing. You know what I mean? For sure. Um, I wanted to stream before, like, just setting up all that stuff, like, the little hotkeys to, like, oh, thanks for the new follow and all that. And, it's like, and then um, building a community. I feel like that's a hard part because what we're doing right now, like, that's pretty hard already. But then, yeah. like, and then, like, if I were to do, like, a stream, too, like, because I wanted to do streaming, like, Call of Duty and all that. Yeah. I wanted to do that on my computer. And um, I turned it on a couple times, but then, like, I have the kids running in the background, and it's like, do I want my kids being exposed? Like, I don't want, I don't want people seeing my kids. Yeah. Like, random people just looking at my kids running around in the background. Yeah. And, like, Judging. obviously, you know, my Cammy always wants to climb on my back when I'm playing video games and shit. Yeah. And it's like, I don't want people to see them you know what i mean like so you know i want to do it but maybe if i have my own room for it or in all time so i don't know but that's just it's crazy i don't know if i want to expose my children like that maybe just personal pictures but yeah me too i was thinking about that too but it's just like putting them in a spotlight where they can just just be kids like we don't have to have the yeah the phone the phone or the whatever <clears throat> recording on you yeah. know what i mean so. that's just my personal preference if you guys want to do that and yeah do that, yeah, that's yeah fine. of course um but i also seen or heard that like people because there's now an age of uh kids now that grew up like in the beginning of vloggers and stuff yeah the vlog like, era. the vloggers um were having their kids in their videos right and there's yeah. like those are like the main points of their videos yeah it's like day in the life and these are my kids and how i'm taking care of my kids and how we go through life right and um those kids growing up now and some of those kids are like you guys are exposing us and we didn't really like that they're expressing yeah. their feelings about that and because they're trying to be content putting they're content putting, you're making they, me as content yeah when it should just not be about that. yeah like, and do, now do this because it's for this and now then, that they're older 
they're kind of like there's a pushback on those um, parents and shit, wow. which is crazy. I, I don't know the full that. story, but there there's people out there. Like, yeah, man, which is crazy because so it's like, yeah, you know, I I don't want to do it personally. Yeah. And I don't know if my kids would like that either. And, and you know, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> people are really like uh, going to those uh, extreme lengths to make content like that with and not notice like a uh, regular emotion you know by raising yeah. your kids you know you know what i mean there's one video where this mom was trying to get a reaction out of their kid spraying water into the the kid's face wow and it was like oh uh like, i guess they're trying to do it already and the kid was just like no mommy i don't want this i don't want it and she's like come on look look ha and she's like laughing like spraying uh like a water gun yeah and then the kid was like no 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 and then and then she just kept going and then the kid was just like whatever that's fucked and up, then dude. just kept she kept spraying him trying to get a reaction trying to make a video and the kid just looked like he can't do nothing so he just felt looked like defeated that sucks like, that's so bad dude. Like, yeah it's like read the room read the room right like yeah it hurts my, to do this i anymore. already hurt my feelings right yeah. there because you know i'm already i'm a parent and i i don't want to force my kid to do do something that they don't want to do and like yeah. make them feel like that like that's kind of messed up just for putting your the phone in front of their face and stuff you know what i mean yeah yeah yeah. like i get it like some things you got to just cherish like it has to be for the memories also but at the same time it's just like don't force feed your kids certain things that are not natural to either their emotion their you know their intellect or you know their nutrition healthy for their body type yeah. of thing you know what i mean so it's not good for them because later on down the line they're gonna resent you or it's gonna it's gonna affect them in a negative way. Yeah, <clears throat> mentally because now it's just like hell yeah. Nah, I, she the the kid is helpless. Yeah, for it's sure. like what am I gonna do? Cause I said no how many times? What yeah. I, what else can I do now? I can't overpower this guy, person. They're just gonna get mad at me and it's just like, damn, that's gonna make the whole another case of mental like illness probably for yeah. that kid. So yeah, man, just don't you know. I'd rather not, for myself, put my kids on, you know, live. You know what I mean? Miko's already like, I don't want to take, like, get get this away. Or let's just smack the phone yeah. out of my hand if that shit, you know, if she doesn't want to be recorded. Sometimes she'll be like, take a picture. But nah, sometimes she's like, nah, don't even do that shit. So, yeah. That shit is crazy now. So, uh, and then I heard um, about going back to the um, the virtual reality. They're trying to make something about like exploding headsets oh, just to make yeah. it did you hear about that i heard about something like so that. um to make it feel real so like Damn. if you get into certain situations they want to make it to where it's like if you go like if it ends up that you die in the thing your headset really? will explode you're really gonna die you're really gonna die just to make you feel like the anxiety of actually like playing a, like in real life being in yeah. real life and suffering consequences if you do, you know, something wrong in the in the metaverse and shit. But I don't think they're close to doing that. But that shit's people are getting going way too far with some too shit, far dude. For that. <laughs> but there weird. always has to be people fucking pushing the line, pushing right? the limits, so you know where not to go. Yeah, which is fucking stupid as fuck. That's crazy. <laughs> we sh I never went to a VR thing. We should try it one time. I, yeah, dude. It's about, try, I think it's six time. people you could bring in. So six people. They have one at um, Hillsdale Mall. Um, we could do that. Have you did an escape room? I did I did escape room. Escape room is fun. Yeah, we did a zombie one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we did that. We did, I think we did Alcatraz um, in the city. Um, that was fun, though. But um, just using your problem solving. Problem um, solving skills. Yeah. And then just having fun with it. And it's like a it's a um, team building type of thing. So yeah, yeah, for sure. Doing that, so yeah, we should do yeah. VR too. VR looks fun. I'm down to do VR. I've seen uh, people doing it and they're like because it's like a platform too, and you got to run and stuff too. So oh uh, like, yeah, that one too. I was, I was like, that looks crazy. I seen it on a, like a YouTube ad, and I was like, dude, that looks hella fun. And then like the per their friend was like recording them, and they're like falling over and stuff and <laughs> laughing and stuff. 
Yeah. And then one of the guys, the other one with the other guy was like, take this off, take this off. Oh, you got hella scared. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll be fucking chicken shit, dude. I'll fucking shit. I'll be scared. I mean, you be playing Call of Duty, so that should yeah. probably be That's different, different from like zombie shit in VR. Okay, so let's say it's like uh, same, similar. Like you're in like a I've seen one where they're, they're battling against each other and they have to go around obstacles and it's VR and they're on a platform. Yeah. And I think it's like an arena where people are watching them, but they're like going around corners and shit. That's crazy. And just like fucking shooting each other. So everybody's just, this shit look tight. Yeah. yeah. I want to try it out. Yeah. We'll, we'll try to do that. Yeah. I know we sure. make a lot of promises on here, but, you know, we'll try to do it. We've made no promises. We said we're going to do. We did them. Um, which one? We did make. We made it. We said we're going to make it better. It's better. Oh, hey. So you got food. Bring it out. What we got? What we got? Damn. Surprise me. Let's you go. sure? Yeah. All right. Let me let me uh, keep them uh, occupied and I'll bring it out right now. Uh, is it in the f- kitchen? Yeah, it's gonna. I'm just gonna warm it up just a uh, little for bit. For sure. All right, hold up. Yo, check it out now, Funk Show brother. Check it out now. Let's time this guy. Let's check the Warriors game. What time is the? I mean, the Warriors game is on. Um. Suns seventy two, Warriors sixty five. Hmm. Hopefully the Warriors could pull this through and break the seven game road trip losing streak. Curry has thirty one points already, carrying the team. And the highest scorer after that is Anthony Lamb and Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson has seven. Anthony Lamb has seven. Um Man, they're just doing bad, dude. Like, um, Draymond got zero rebounds. It looks like we're getting beat down low. Oh, my God, man. I think it's hard because Jordan Poole is not consistent. Um, if he could be consistent, then we win. But, you know, when you, you can see that, like, when he plays good, the Warriors do good, right? And having Moses Moody and Kaminga not producing the way they should be is taking a hard hit on what kind of team we are because we save those roster spots, and those are big roster spots. Um, that you know we kept for these young guys, right? Other than getting other veterans to take those places and play a big role as um um in the in the system. So him, uh, Moody, Kuminga, Wiseman, just not playing any. You know, all right, this guy's back. Um. Um, Moody, Kaminga, Wiseman just not producing the way that we thought they would and add in Jordan Poole in that because he got paid lots of money that those are four roster spots that we expected to have a little bit production at, right? And not saying that we're going to rely on those guys and that we need them to do really big but those are four roster spots that need to do at least something. Kaminga is out of in and out of the lineup. We can't trust him. Moody, we could we can't trust him. We could trust that he's smart and he'll make the right play, but he's not really doing anything else. Um, Jordan Poole, he got paid the big bucks. He's playing the big bucks minutes. He's young, and he has potential, but he's just not consistent. So when you get you know that when you're not consistent. He's the sixth man. So he's the guy that's getting, you know, he got paid. Like, show it. That's, I think that's why we're losing. We have roster spots that are taking up half the bench that we're not getting production out of. You know what I mean? Clay Thompson might be struggling. Um, You're going to get what you're going to get from Draymond. You know, you shouldn't expect too much from him. You're going to get his assists, his defense, and, you know, some, um, rebounds right so and then looney you know where you're gonna get from him we can't expect too many points out of him so it's like 
I think that's where our strugglers are coming. Our bench that we're, you know, wasting, we wasted spots on, they're not getting no production. So, and then these other guys like um, DiVincenzo, Jamichael Green, those are just supposed to be plug in players. Like, we're supposed to just have get them from free agency and help us out with the with the system that we have already, right? So, I don't know, man. We can't let this slide to like fifteen. Like, we we got to win on the road. Yeah, for sure. Against bottom tier teams like the Pistons and the Magic, and you know what I mean. The games that we're supposed to win, the uh, below five hundred. I feel like the. Um, the others and the bench, they have to help win those games. And then when it's the yeah. big-time games, obviously help out also. And then have the, our stars show up. you know. But they can't use all their energy on those games that below 500 that we don't yeah. need to. Like, those little games, you have to get those. Yeah, like why is, he, why is Curry scoring 40 in a game that these this team is not even that good? Yeah. You know what the I mean? The first few, like, first few couple weeks that it was like, okay – you know, it's early in the season. Let's, you know, we're working out what their lineup is and all that. But when are, when is it going to be the point? Now is, like, the point where it's like, all right, you know, we're, like, to, what, 16 to 20 games in. You got to kick it in. You know what I mean? We're getting there. We have to yeah. get it right now. You, you might be, like, playing with lineups and all that. But it's like if you're um, below 500 and you're losing, you're, you're 0-7 on the road. You have to get those small games because it's going to get out of hand. And, you know, next thing you know, it, it's an all-star break. And then next thing you know it, fucking playoffs. So um, sending James Wiseman back to the G League is kind of a fucking big hit that you didn't want to see because, you know, that's a big roster spot that everybody was counting on, right? Yeah, he should have been, been ready. Kaminga. But... Like it's these guys are getting bounced out it's of the, the fucking better, thing. Yeah, like Jordan Poole. So I know. think if Wiseman, like, hot take, but I think Damian Jones was better than Wiseman. Like, it is. It seems like Wiseman gets moved off his spot way too easy. Like, if you're gonna put him in the post, like, he can't even hold his ground in the post. So it's like, and then you know he can't catch the ball. He has his hands are. St- too soft. He's using the wrong fucking hand soap. I don't know what it is, but Lubiderm. Yeah, bro. Like, <laughs> fuck, man. All right. Cetaphil yeah. or something. Like this guy. Like, catch the ball. You know, maybe his hair is too big. <laughs> Cut his hair. Be more swift. Speaking of hot take, uh, let's try this hot food right now before it gets uh, cool. He brought right food. Now. He brought food for us to try. Here, give me a cup right now. Uh, right oh, a now. A cup. A cup. A cup. Uh, we're trying this uh, Jamaican soft drink. Okay. It's orange soda. All right. Are you telling us where where it's from? Yeah, I'm telling you right now. Okay. A, it's a Jamaican spot near my house. Uh, it's my go-to if I want to get that good Jamaican. It's called Flavas. Ooh, Flavas. Yeah, right there. Um, and then uh, I got you a napkin right there. And okay. Then, um, um, try one of the it's a wing chicken wings chicken wings Jerk. Try one of the wings. All right. uh, I like flats there you go okay jerk chicken mm-hmm. right, I never tried the chicken wings here and I'll eat I'll eat one with you should I try it already yeah go for it okay flavas jerk chicken wings jerk chicken wings flavas all right ready First thing that comes to mind, spicy. Mm-hmm. Smoky. Tasted like they grilled it yep. over uh, wood. A smoky taste. Very good. Yeah, it's not too salty. It's it's flavored very very well. Mm. 
I can't clear the bone right now, but yeah, that's good. Um, good. Smoky, like they grilled it over a fire, not just a grass gas grill or in the um, kitchen, and it's spicy. Um, All right, next. I next. can't distinguish like jerk, like what's the what's the like. Um, String distinguishable like taste of jerk, like thing. I can't really tell because right now for me, I just taste smoky and spicy. I can't tell. Let me take a sip of this uh, orange orange soda. Yeah. Who loves orange soda? So jerk chicken comes with uh, onion, uh, um, scallions. Mm. I don't know. It says Scott Bonnet chilies, garlic cloves. Mm. Um, it's good. I like the I like the oxtail. Yeah, they had that. Too. I didn't get it though. I just wanted to get the chicken. My God, the oxtail is so good. Um, probably good with rice too though. What? This chicken. You like get the chicken a lot. Um, no, I just tried. This is the first time I tried. I don't. I usually get these. These right now. I was gonna hand it to you. Okay. Um, Do I need the napkin? Yeah. Here it goes. No. Ooh, empanada. Yep. Empanada. These are the tiny ones. They have the bigger ones too. Tiny ones. For a. Uh, what do you call it? For a. Uh, for scale. <laughs> All right. Let's try this. What kind of empanada is it? Fluffy. This is fluffy. It tastes fluffy. It's a fluffy empanada. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's really good. You tried this one too already before? Mm-hmm. I like it. I'll bring something next week. Or... <clears throat> Gotta figure it out. I think it's like uh, this is a bean and uh, meat together. Um, Noah has a really good empanada. It's Filipino though. Um, uh, red ribbon. Those are expensive as fuck though. Yeah. They're like three dollars an empanada or three fifty, but they're so good. They have a chicken, pork, and a um, beef one. Ooh wee! I'm gonna have another one. Yeah, by the way. baby. If, that, if that's okay with you guys. The empanadas, highly recommend. What are the price on those empanadas? A little pricey, but I mean, if you get the bigger ones, probably cheaper. Um, all in all, it came out to uh, twenty-five bucks. The chicken how wings. Many how many piece chicken wings is that? Uh, I think. Hold on, let me see. Eight. Eight. Yeah. Yeah. I like the um. I like the oxtail. It comes with rice and I think it comes with beans. Yeah, it comes with beans and I yeah. think some veggies on like coleslaw or something. Something like that. But um, I was going to get that, but I didn't know if he wanted to go too extreme on it. That's why I stayed safe with the chicken wings and the empanadas. So, I'm going to have a little bit more. You want some more? Nah, I'm good. This tastes like... Ooh, you like that sound? I like that sound. I don't know. I like the empanadas the best. Yeah. Which is really good. I like the oxtail from there. Probably the best. I haven't only had it a couple times, but um yeah, try the chicken wings. They're smoky and spicy. Um can you handle spice? Yeah, uh I can go spice until when I don't when it's very uncomfortable is when I can't taste the food anymore and it's just spicy is just <clears throat> my tongue is numb and whatever touches it <clears throat> it hurts. Yeah. What's the spiciest thing you ever ate? Uh, something with like a habanero, uh, like 
sauce, like a ghost pepper. Uh, it was at like at a, I forgot what uh, burrito spot, and it was just uncomfortable. It was a sauce. Yeah, we had the sauce. I put it on the burrito. Oh. And I just, I couldn't do it. And I was like, why am I eating it? Because I was sweating. And I was like, I shouldn't have got this. I shouldn't have put the sauce on there because it just made everything. It was a super burrito too. <laughs> and I was like, I just wasted it because I'm too uncomfortable right now. I still ate it the next morning, but it was just not good at all. And then one, one time, one of the uh, our other cousin, his friend went to get like a, um, it was a, what is it? The, is it the ghost pepper? I forgot what it, habanero. Yeah. And it was a it was a it was a small container and the sauce looked like dark brown, Ooh. red. And he said, put this on your pizza. We we're eating Ooh. like uh I forgot, I think we we're eating round table pizza. We we're in his kitchen. And then he was like, put this on your pizza. And I was like, what is that? And he was like, it's a uh, it's a habanero. And I was like, go ahead, I'll try it. Cause I usually put like Tabasco sauce on my pizza or like yeah. some kind of tapatio, like just to cut and peppers too. So I was like, I'm used to this put it on man my mouth was burning <laughs> dude my whole face lit up i was sweating and then like i felt like i was drooling so then i was like trying to wipe my mouth because i couldn't feel my mouth anymore Ooh. and i only took one bite and it was at least like put a speck on there only and i was like and i think i put more because i was like i can do it and then i ate it and my mouth was just in flames and then what i messed up in is i wiped my mouth and then on me sweating, I wiped my eye, and then my eye was got burned, and I was like, oh, I can't see. And then he was sitting on the kitchen table, he was laughing at me, and he was dying. And I was like, <laughs> fuck, dude. And he was like, I tried it yesterday. And I was like, why'd you tell me? He was like, this. Like, I was like, I told you it was hot. I was like, who, told, who did this? Huh? Who did this to you? I'm going to tell you, but uh, <laughs> I don't want to put him out like, the, like that, but... Uh, I was like, dude, this shit is too hot. And then he was like, I know, I did it. I said, like, why'd you tell? I like, you didn't tell me it's gonna be uncomfortable hot. I thought you're gonna tell me it's like it's just spicy. And he was hella laughing. And then uh, he was like, get milk, dude, drink milk. And then I drank the milk. And I was like, but it's in my eye. He's like, oh, bro, you guys should take a shower then, like w- wash it off then. <laughs> you gotta so take I, a whole ass shower. <laughs> yeah, bro, it was hurting. And then I was like, fuck. So I ended up. Uh, Taking a shower in his house because it went in my eye and I was trying to wash it out and then <laughs> you had to take a whole shower, but it's only on your eye and your hands. So you just see and yeah. shit. Yeah, no, that's it didn't work because I put my face in the sink. Oh shit, dude, that's hella funny, dude. Yeah, and it was burning my whole face, and then I was like, I don't want ever want to. And then we, I think uh, he had ice cream, and he said the the, the dairy uh, makes it go down. So what I wanted I, to do, cream. what I wanted to do for one of the um, things to bring, I want to bring the one chip challenge. <laughs> I want to do the one chip challenge. Ooh. We would do do it like at the end, so we wouldn't be through going through the whole pod like. <laughs> <laughs> we don't yeah. have to be the fucking off beat makers again. And shit. <laughs> but um. Or the or the hot ones. We can do hot. I want to do the hot ones, but then like it's like you gotta buy the whole pack. So the one chip chance, Do you have to ch- you have to eat the whole chip or just a piece of it? You have to eat the whole chip. <sighs> Damn. All right. We, if we have prepared like we have milk and the dairy and all that yeah. stuff, I'll do it. And then um, also, or we could have did that. I always wanted to do like some fucking hot, sh- like spicy shit. Like I know I can't handle it, but then like, cause I sweat a lot. Yeah. So like, even like some people know like if you go out to eat with me, and it's not even that that spicy. If I yeah. just enjoy the food or something, I'm sweating. Yeah, yeah. I'm hella sweating. I'd be using hella napkins. There's something wrong with me, but. Like, I always wanted to just try, like, fucking one of the Carolina Reapers or something. Like, one of those you just get from Amazon. Yeah. And then you just fucking, it's just one. You have to use a fucking glove to take it out and just bite one of those motherfuckers. And just, yeah. oh, shit. There's one, there's these uh, noodles, like ramen noodles. And it's a fucking, um, you, so you cook the noodles. And then it's like a black package of, like, sauce. that, you, And then you mix it in there. And you have to try to eat it after like the second bite. It's like fucking. You can you can't feel your mouth. Damn, that shit hurts. You can't. You can barely finish the fucking noodles and shit. Can't even, can't yeah. even finish the meal, dude. Yeah, no. dude. But I don't know. I ate it again a couple times. <laughs> I was like, fuck it, let's do it. So I want to do something like that. So maybe we'll try to do something like that. They they have a whole fucking um uh, display at uh. It's like a coffin. It's at a Seven Eleven. Oh so yeah, yeah that, I seen that. so I that's why that. I, I want that. I wanted to do that because one time I wanted to get coffee in the morning and 
they had it over there. One one of my guys at my school, uh, he he had that. He got it on break, and I was like, "Dude, you gonna eat that right now in class? You are gonna be uncomfortable." He said, "No, I'm gonna eat yeah. it later." It was like the last day, but he was like, "I'll meet you later." And I was like, "He just wanted to bring it to class so that he got it." It's like uh, what, just the one. Yeah, he went to the store and he bought it. He saw it <coughs> and he bought it, and then he was like showing everybody, like show and tell at school. That's fun though. That's funny yeah. to make conversation. Um, there's uh. I think they have at Trader Joe's where it's like a whole bag of them and it's like ghost pepper or whatever. And those are not as hot, but you could really taste the kick. Also, those, I might want to try the, they have atomic wings, which have been on the menu for a long time at Wingstop. Let's try it. So maybe we'll try that next time and shit. But. Tell us what you want us to try. <laughs> the three people. <laughs> At least they're watching. They won't. They yeah. won't comment. But at least they'll watch. That's all good. <laughs> we should make a sound for this kind of what and the role players. But I feel like the role player thing is not hitting. Nobody likes it. I don't have one right now. I don't have one either. So we just cut that shit out. I'll okay. get here. You go first. Kind of what? <laughs> You're blasting in my ears right now, bro. Whoa, whoa. All right. Um. Oh, we this one. I did this one already. There we go. Here we go. Would you rather have an elephant trunk? Attached to your face or a giraffe, <laughs> giraffe sized neck? <laughs> Damn. Um, <coughs> ele <laughs> elephant nose? Then you gotta smell everybody's shit, then, huh? I mean, it could help you. I feel like they use it more for like um, lifting shit. True, it help you out. I already got a left elephant trunk somewhere the else. Gira the, the giraffe, <laughs> the giraffe, um, uh, neck is almost equivalent to having like big ears, because then like you look, you put your neck around the corner, like what are you talking about? <laughs> you, <laughs> you know can wrap it. You fight people like that, just yeah. fucking swiping everybody you hear, out. You can hear people. You like should be that. like this. You be like, <laughs> you be like, what you, what you listening to? <laughs> I can hear that. You gotta, you gotta drive with a sunroof open all the time. <laughs> but also like. How does that work with your fucking coordination? Like, your, your arms are all the way down here. It's like, how do I get this thing right here? Like, yeah, you, can't bend you can't bend over for my, sure. My depth perception is, like, is kind of wrong. I don't know. Maybe, yeah, your line of sight is kind of weird, awkward. Like, you can't see what's going on with the rest of your body. How would cars How would cars be? Yeah, for sunroof. Or roof, <laughs> for, yeah, fucking drop top. <laughs> drop top, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. That's the um, T Ty Dollar Sign song, "Drop Top in the Rain." Not a uh, uh, Eagles. The um, uh, was it the the Hotel California? Cool wind in the air. <laughs> uh, what's it called? Um, yeah. Oh, no. Elephant trunk. What can you do with the elephant trunk? You could fucking, you could lift shit. With that, with that nose. <laughs> with that nagin, nagin, nagin. No, no, you can't put a face mask on. You definitely can't you can't be in covid bro you can die dog <laughs> you gonna get covid hell yeah. you gotta be fucking uh 20 feet apart <laughs> yeah that the pandemic bro fuck. 20 you feet fuck. social distance yeah bro you can't go inside the room you can't go anywhere now because like you can you have your your mouth your nose is uh exposed <laughs> oh bro put a, you, you being hella sock. nosy bro you put a sock on <laughs> you put a sock on your nose right there there you go anything you can do it yeah, Sock probably, nose. Yeah. All right. Nostradamus. Uh, <laughs> I'll pick a. Oh well, you didn't. You didn't say which one you want. Uh, I picked the. I pick. I picked the nose. I picked the neck. You picked the neck. Yeah. Daddy long neck. <laughs> Never mind. I'll pick the nose. <laughs> He's like, you got a neck, dog. <laughs> <Bruh>. Neck down. <laughs> but it look like you have neck tattoos with the fucking uh, <laughs> the giraffe skin, <laughs> or you just have the neck. Fucking like Dalsim, <laughs> the V-neck. You have a you have a V-neck <laughs> with the fucking giraffe neck. Yoga fire. Oh yeah, huh? That'd be crazy. <laughs> that would look so ugly, bro. With chains. You put hella chains on that thing. Discontinue huh? all V-necks right now, please. 
<laughs> I wore those at home, bro. <laughs> Discontinue. You got hella chains and shit, hella gold chains around, dude. It's like a fucking spiral. <laughs> it looked like Mr. T. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that turtleneck will be a giraffe neck. That's crazy. You can't have a hoodie on then, huh? <laughs> It'd be too far from your jacket. You look like your a jacket. toe. You look like a toe. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Fuck, man. Would you rather wear boots or slippers? Regardless of weather. Boots or slippers? <sighs> Probably slippers, dude, because being in boots all day long is kind of sucks, dude. You're Regardless of weather? Imagine, like, it's a little bit cold outside. So if you have slides, I feel like you can do some damage in some slides, like, the whole time. Man, the fucking floor is going to do some damage to your fucking feet. But think about like earlier settlers that that came here. They didn't have shoes. They just still they still thug it out. Yeah, and they got wiped off the country. <laughs> get the wiped out they the fucking ins- face of the earth they got from enslaved. the guy from the guys with boots. <laughs> <laughs> boots versus uh, no boot, uh, no shoes, barefoot. Yeah, man, shit, That's dude. True. They was ready to work, man. Imagine. If you're fucking working at, in your fucking job right now with slippers, <laughs> you got no steel tail. You got the steel toe fucking uh, the uh, the thongs. It'll be a, it'll be metal to protect your shit. I seen Dad do some work in some Jordan slides, bro. I didn't even go lie. <laughs> it's all fucking covered in cement and shit. Dad was doing some work in some like, Jordan damn, slides. Damn, bro! I just he, got those. He built a whole. Uh, Whole patio in the back with some Jordan slides, bro. Nah, damn, bro. You used to fuck up some slippers, dude. I'm like, damn, we just <laughs> got you those, dude. It's all fucking, it's all covered in cement and shit. What about what about the guys that build the pools in the jungle? I mean, we've talked about this already, but my dad, my, our dad, like one time I came down, I borrowed somebody's Sperry's because we we're gonna go out, but they're old, so he's like, oh, you can have them, and then um, I didn't end up wearing them. <laughs> My dad fucking repainted those motherfuckers, dude. Use and he as, started wearing use, them. He's them as work shoes. But he painted it with like house paint. <laughs> bro, my dad was In- creative as fuck, bro. Innovated. Dude, that shit is funny. Like, that, um, cause at my mom's house, like, he did so much stuff to the house, like, Every that's why I got this fucking uh, tattoo of a drill on the side of my leg because I just remember like days and days every like week that he's either building something um, with this with the fucking you know power drill or he's putting something up on the walls or you know what I mean just whatever like he's just building shit and fixing shit and um, um, we always have a joke where it's like damn bro what the fuck did he do over here like he made like his own contraptions to open like the gate in the backyard like you have to fucking like punch a hole into the fucking fence you gotta punch a hole into the fence to open another pull out a screwdriver and then it will open (laughs) so if you don't know what you're doing you're never gonna open that shit dude that shit will never open. Bro, we, we even we never even talked about the classic viral video that oh, already went yeah, crazy. Man. We're we gonna, I'm going to redo that video. When we found the money. Oh, man. That shit was crazy, dude. We were cleaning the garage like for the 1700th <clears throat> time cleaning the garage again. And uh, he had a shelf back there where she he made for my mom to put her shoes on. And... Uh, Here, let me... Let me um, so you so, should tell your part. <clears throat> yeah, I, yeah, let I, me, I didn't go in depth on that Yeah, part. yeah, so... We were cleaning the garage, and then my brother, P, was in the uh, garage, and then, like, um, I was in, like, halfway the garage, and it leads to the stairs, and then there's a there's a shoe case, and we're cleaning, we're going to take out that whole shoe cl- case, because we have a dumpster that we're just throwing wood and whatever in there to get rid of a lot of shit, and uh, I was, we're like, alright, let's get rid of this shoe case, and I was telling my brother, for some reason, I was like, Man, this house is like the Da Vinci Code, bro. Like, right before this happens, too, I was like, I said something about, like, hey, this is like the some Da Vinci Code shit, dude. We're just unlocking some shit right now. We're going to find something. 
and I take out the back piece of the fucking shoe case and there's a um <clears throat> it's like a rain what the, do you call that the rain gutter the rain gutter uh tube the for the side of your house you'll know it's like a plastic right and it's half of that and it's covered by the backing of the shoe shoe case like the shelf shelf <clears throat> it's like particle board or whatever and the 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 board is kind of like off right so i take that off i rip that off and it's that that um, gutter screwed into the wall. Oh, so it's not flush the with the wall, right? It's it, diagonal, yeah. right? So and that was covered by by shoes. So when I took out the shoes, took out the fucking um, un unleveled flush um, particle board off the um, the wall, and it was the gutter in the corner of that. <clears throat> and then I took that. I was like, "What the fuck is that?" And um, I was like. And then it was like a dollar and a fucking um, a notebook it, um, right in between that board and the uh, the pipe, the gutter. I I was like, oh shit, it's a dollar or whatever. I thought it just fell behind there for some reason. And I showed a pair. I was like, oh, look, a dollar. What was it? A treasure or whatever. Just joking around and shit. Because the bottom was it was <laughs> capped off. He, he, he capped off the bottom of that tube. And you only can enter through the top of the tube. And it was hollow. So like... I mean, you can still see down below, but then it was capped off. That's why you, you can't see the bottom of it. Yeah, but um, <clears throat> I thought it was just a random dollar. that It just fell behind there for some reason because we had books on top of that too. Um, and then so I took it off, and then he and then Perry was like, oh, what if that shit's like money or something, dude? I bet you there's money in there, just jo kind of jokingly too. And we kind of look, and then we flash a light in there, and it was fucking money, dude. There was, there was money. There was some in wrapped that. up stuff though. It was like uh, paper wads though. It was like paper wads first, so you couldn't really tell. Yeah. But when we shook it, you could hear some change in there. Yeah, you could hear some shit in there, and we were like, "Oh shit, there's some money in here. There's really money in here." Um, and um, what else? In uh, the video, you we'll can put, see we'll us. Put a video. Yeah, we'll put right it up here. like right here. Yeah. You can see us in the video. I'm like trying to cut out the part that he had, like almost like taped and screwed and glued. So I cut it out, and I was like, go get the drill. And coincidentally, the drill that he got was a Makita. Yeah, I, this one is, is this is a Makita, the logo on here. That I really wanted. I made it big enough so you could see Makita here. It's for my dad. So then uh, I unscrew it, and then... Oh, I, no, no, no. So hold on. Sorry. When we said, like, oh, there is money in here, we turned it upside down, and we tried to, like, shake it out. Oh, yeah. So some fell down. We're like, oh, shit, there is money. And then... Um, he and then we brought it to the garage. I was like, "Pete, look, there's actually money in here." And then um, we brought it to the garage, and then and then after that, uh, I was trying to uh, shimmy out. Oh, there's like a big piece of wood in uh, on the bottom of the uh, that tube to kind of plug it. So then, like, you had to go through layers. So we're kind of, I mean, you can see me in the video trying to carve it out, and then I finally unscrew it, and then like uh, uh, some like a five dollar bill pops out. And I was like, "Oh, damn!" And then I pull more and i was like oh shoot and then there's still stuck there's still stuff there's stuck. a piece at the bottom there's that more he wood. fabricated <laughs> fabricated to fit that yeah. gutter piece yeah yep. flush flush that it won't come out and then he drilled more yeah. screws yeah, it was it was so pretty it hard stay. to get it out and then he, we i i get the drill and i start pulling off the wood and then it finally starts coming out and then I, as you can see in the video i'm like taking the money i'm like oh damn there's more there's more and i get i need to get like a stick and i pull out more and this guy's re started recording me and he's like dude and we were both we we're like laughing like dying because it was like we were like so happy we were so happy and mind you this is after you know our dad passed away maybe a, a year or two after i think so <clears throat> so yeah it was like 20 20 20 oh maybe a year just a year after anyways yeah man and it was so fucking crazy yeah. um that i was we were just like filled with like joy and laughter because like we weren't we were surprised but we weren't surprised we weren't surprised you know what all, i mean like actually. he was just, we weren't surprised that he would do something like that because i felt like we eventually we was gonna find something crazy yeah like that um but um, we're, we're caught we're caught off we're guard, caught off guard. We're just kind of, we, i knew he had some kind of stash um and uh you know i mean 
you know, any any money is good money. So yeah, and mom mom was upstairs just watching TV, and she came down. She's like, "Why are you guys laughing oh, yeah, so hard? Laughing Why are you guys so laughing hard. so hard?" I was like crying at the time. I was the, crying too, dude. I was crying too, and um, mom came down. She was like, "I knew it." She told he kept telling me that he kept like only money like a hundred dollars or something down here or somewhere, and he he's hiding it, and fucking lo and behold, like shit dude like there was some fucking dollar and he was like putting it in like uh binder clips so he, it would like sink down to the bottom when he put it into the yeah. the top and then you could see there's one it looked like he tried to get like a couple dollars out because he put a stick i think it was like a shoehorn and he wrapped it with uh with tape, tape. and then it looked like he was trying to get it scoop it but, out and but he let go he, he dropped it so it was in there with it oh yeah because he couldn't get to it anymore he couldn't get to on, it yeah. and just dropped it and that was the end of that. And then there was just money in there. And it was like about like maybe. Three, 344. 300 something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's and crazy, dude. And lot. then that fucking notebook that um, was I there know. with the dollar. That was crazy because we we're like, what if there's something on there that he wrote again that he's hiding something else? I keep thinking about Remember? that shit, dude. And we and couldn't, we couldn't find fucking, we couldn't find fucking find it, it dude. dude. It was a specific note uh, binder paper. No, it was a small notepad. Well, notebook. Notepad, you're right. It was yeah, a small right, notebook. Right. Like, you will see, it's a small notebook with the rings on the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, it was with the dollar before I took off the piece. Um, yeah. Over there, it was just laying there with the dollar, like, crumpled up. And then the notepad was there. And I put it down somewhere. And after we, like, cleaned up all the stuff and... Um, Got all the money out. We were trying to find the notebook because we were like, well, if there's more shit it's probably, that he's saying. It's that... probably more shit. Yeah, dude. That guy's a, he's a, he thinks ahead. They call a... him the um, MacGyver <laughs> of Mac the family because he can make <laughs> a lot of shit. And uh, yeah, that was just one time that, man, that was so amazing and just so crazy. That was funny. Um, a crazy time. I'll put the video up and we'll make a. Um, I'll redo it as a reel and uh, we'll put it up and we'll all cry together because uh, <laughs> that was pretty fucking crazy because yeah, it, was it just, just all happened like it was a random day too. It was just a random day of me, you were at mom's and I was at mom's and I was like picking up the kids and then we were just laughing and shit. Well, we were funny. cleaning and then like it was funny because we we're like like it's the Da Vinci Code like we we're just fucking watch we're gonna find something and we yeah. fucking did which is crazy and which is great what else is crazy is that um around that same time the year before mom found another uh uh dutch money. cookie ca tin oh but money in there huh but money in there like she probably thought it was like um you know dutch cookie tins when you open it you think it's cookies but it's your fucking sewing kit <laughs> It's like the Cool Whip. You look in the Cool Whip, but yeah. it's freaking uh, adobo <laughs> <laughs> in the fridge. So um, maybe my mo mom thought it was just like another sewing kit or whatever under the, the bed. But she found money, right? Yeah, it was money. Around the same time that we found that fucking thing. The year before, though. Yeah, the year before, which is crazy as fuck to think. Yeah. And it's like, we we're just always saying like... Your dad is laughing at us right now. So For sure. fucking, it's crazy as fuck. Rest in peace, dad. Hey, we knew you're a big, uh, big on like talk radio, and I used to listen to you like when I used to turn on the car, and you, you're on your talk radio or whatever. I'd be NPR. Like, what is this, dude? This yeah, sound real. boring as fuck. Yeah, for real. But, but he was just, he was there for the stories and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Or well, shit like this. And you know what I mean? Like and the knowledge. Just like learning about random shit like this. Like he would come up with some random ass uh, facts and says like, Perry, you know what the first where the first car was made? <laughs> what? He was like, yeah, it was the first car made. <laughs> some some random stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you remember something yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, it's like sure. Detroit or something like Yeah, yeah. Or he would always be like, yell from his room like, oh, hey, turn it to channel 58. <laughs> what? I don't want to watch that right now. And then you turn it to channel 58. It's a it's good something ass movie. Like a, yeah, it's like an action movie. That <laughs> it's like, a good ass Ooh, movie. this is tight. <laughs> That was a good ass movie, huh? Hell yeah! <laughs> or another one would be like it would be like National Lampoons or something like yeah, that. Yeah, the funny ass one. Funny. They go to Vegas or something. Yeah, that one's a good one, dude. 
Yeah, for sure. Changing 100. <laughs> Shit's hella funny. He was trying to battle the dealer. He's like, <laughs> he to kept going. <laughs> no, no, he kept going back to the. Uh, he's like, oh, I'm about to fucking go uh, play blackjack. And then the same dealer comes and he's like, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's funny, yeah, dude. That shit's funny, though. Oh. Yeah, but yeah, dude, that was a. That was a crazy ass fucking moment in our lives, dude. With the. Uh, with the the treasure of my dad and everybody was saying like oh shit let's break down some other walls and shit <laughs> One of the other cousins, yeah the other cousins was talking about like, hey we gotta go in our house and take some walls down at our place too <laughs> <laughs> someone is people were like uh sending pictures of hammers to us <laughs> like we ready we all <laughs> oh, forgot, I forgot about that. That, shit that shit was funny dude yeah, but I'll, funny. I'll, I'll retrieve that video chop it up and uh yeah, that'd be, that'd be maybe a good we'll just clip. put a picture right here. You guys are gonna have to, you know. That'd be a good clip. Yeah, that'd be a good that'd clip. A good clip. Um, <laughs> I think we could end it right here. That was pretty good. We yeah, pretty long for sure. We had some good uh, chicken wings, soda, and empanadas for sure. We were, some good beer. Looked like we had a little beer. Uh, we had powwow some, right yeah, here. Hell huh? yeah, we was getting it lit right yeah. now today. Um, I'll come with some uh, something else next time. For sure. Um. um uh, Hope you guys enjoy um stay safe happy holidays if we don't see, we will we will we will we're gonna make it happen we gotta make it happen we make time we make time for it for sure for next week um catch us on all your streaming platforms um ig at role players dot, uh underscore pod uh role players podcast on youtube role players everything um oh easy three e's where can they find you p uh at p d u z z underscore two one and uh p does music on all streaming platforms uh youtube also check out the new project i just put out role players instrumental all the instrumentals from the pilot season and a couple bonus tracks um let's go download it stream it um, it's called P Does Music, uh, Role Players Instrumentals. A lot of those are um, music that we used, and we want you to use it in your, you know, highlight tape or you know your cooking thing, whatever. All of it, or you can work out to it. A, a lot of it is a, a lot of upbeat, upbeat music. Make your own music to it and show it to him, and then you guys sure. can um, hop right. on the project together. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just trying to, you know, do Thank a little you. Ali. Hey. Ali, you no know, look past uh, for you, maybe. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Thank you all for Thank watching you. another week of the Role Players Podcast. Put some beats on. Let's there take us go. out. Let's, let's take it. Let's take it out. Let's take it out. I think I might be ready. Are you ready? Bye. No, hold on. We're not ready. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're I'm going. just saying bye. And then we can maybe just, you know. Want to play something from the album? Yeah, why not? We oh, got oh, no, we already bottle played. openers. Like us. Subscribe. Rate us five stars. Please rate us the five stars. Please rate us the five, the five stars. stars. Please rate us the five stars. Please. Yo, I'm a star. Please don't be on my knees hey. i'll be in the air geez yo on a layup fast break hey. yo crossing over fast break can't catch me i'm on a fast break i'll leave you to p no look uh, I'll leave you to P no look It's the no look Matter of fact I get another book uh, uh, Do the no look Who got See me who gon' who pass I don't even know You don't who got Better wash your mouth Wash your ears Get clean like me I don't even care uh, Here we go Just another show One more more week down Then we gotta go If you wanna roll 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 mm. with us Roll with us Roll with us Roll with us Roll with us Bye Bye. See Love you later. You.